Good evening, boils and ghouls, and welcome to Coffee and Pie. Uh, we are again not at the usual diner. We are in Sean's dad's kitchen, dining room, not a kitchen. This is awkward. Uh, yeah. Uh, we Try. do have coffee and pie this time, and it is not coffee I made, so it isn't terrible. <laughs> Um, the one we, the coffee we kept having to pour cream soda and shit into it, <laughs> so it would be, like, palatable. Wait, 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 wait. you tried cream soda? Yeah, uh, we, we tried everything. We yeah. made, I made coffee last time, and he doesn't have, like, a tablespoon scoop or anything. <laughs> Jeez. So I was just like, this seems like about enough. <laughs> it reminds me of time And it was the strongest <laughs> coffee ever. It was... <laughs> undrinkable. Yes. We had cream, we had sugar, it was undrinkable. So I finally, like, got three quarters of the way through the coffee and was just pouring cream soda <laughs> into the coffee. And we were all like, give <laughs> us some. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was a time in high school my buddies used to make bro but, and put uh, surge on it. <laughs> we're gonna go around and introduce ourselves, starting with Sean, who is first. And texting. That's me. <laughs> Hey, now hey. that I've introduced him as Sean, I'm not going to introduce I hate you. Anyway, I'm Sean, and are we still going to introduce what yes. we're drinking? Okay. Yes. Um, I mean, we're all eating and drinking it's the same all the same thing, thing but <laughs> for my coffee, I'm drinking Starbucks caramel frappuccino, and I'm having a delicious apple pie right now. Next person. I am Demarcus, yes, me. Uh, I am, too, seeing, uh, drinking, <laughs> and eating, <laughs> filling, and touching. So <laughs> waiting, many senses and involved. Waiting, waiting, and loving. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to sit by you anymore. Welcome to the horror episode. <laughs> uh, Frappuccino, uh, Starbucks, uh, chilled, um, <laughs> and the pie of apple as well. That sounds awkward. Okay. Uh, um, oh, oh, right. Uh, I am Brad. <clears throat> and Hi, Brad. Hi, Sean. And I am <laughs> drinking an apple pie and... Uh, what? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm eating an apple pie and I'm drinking a, a concoction that I've made. It is um, a quick trip coffee uh, that is poured into a quick trip chocolate smoothie. Uh, so it pretty much just melted on me into what tastes like a uh, highly caffeinated chocolate milk. It's very good. Respect. <laughs> and here is our special guest. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm kind of new to this, so I'll give this a shot here. Uh, I'm drinking the exact same thing everybody else is. So Except this? Brad. Yeah. Except Brad. He's got Brad. kitschy stuff. <laughs> so I got Starbucks Frappuccino. 
The thing is, I have a Mountain Dew Cold Red after that, so I don't know how I'm going to feel in about 20 minutes. I, say, I, I should probably say that to you, because I also have a Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, you right right right. Right. You have one, too. I know. <laughs> I got bored waiting during You Don't Know Jack and actually already killed one Frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> so much poop's going to happen. Did, did, you, did you tell its family? I'm going to take a fantastic shit. <laughs> like a breakable uh, football. <laughs> Not nowhere near that side. Um, hello, everybody. I am your host, Alan. Uh, blah, blah, Frappuccino, blah, blah, apple pie. Um, and this episode that we're all fucking giggly about is about horror. And I feel I have to pronounce it that way because apparently uh, someone thought I said whore. On the last <laughs> That's why I jumped in. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah. That was conned! Fun quirk of the Midwestern accent. <laughs> well, I say, we, we, don't, we don't have horror. any horror stories? <laughs> well, I've got a couple horror stories, but none so I'm willing to admit in Tijuana. Tijuana. Mm-hmm. Well, well, there was a time I was in New Orleans. You said we wouldn't talk about that, right? <laughs> um, Born in a ranch. And what we're going to get started with is the Tumblr questions. Woohoo! Yeah, Hi, Tumblr! Tumblr. What's up? Uh, we have one from... Uh, Ask Mentally Advanced Twilight. Oh, yeah, I think I know that guy. <laughs> and the rest are all from Activius again. <laughs> Activius? You want to fill me in on that? No! So this guy gives on this no, one No, 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 it's, it's not the person who sent in the question. These all have to do with our topic. Okay. Oh, okay. It, uh, so the first question from Ask Mentally Advanced Twilight is Have you ever seen a ghost? No. <laughs> I mean, I've seen those ghost no? stories. No. Uh, uh, honestly, no. But no. Yeah. No. No. Never actually seen one. No. no. <laughs> Not in real life. That's that's five no's. <laughs> those. Uh, okay. I mean, I did watch shows. Ghost Hunters, but I don't think cool. I cool. We're gonna blast right through this. Episode. <laughs> Empty rooms on Gus. Ghost, ghost I like Hunter. our last one was two and a half hours long. <laughs> what was the last topic? It was still funny. It though. was gaming. gaming yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, that, that's one we could yeah, talk about for a while. Yeah, I know. I was just... Activius asks, "Can't spell horror without zombies? Opinions on them? Are they overused and dumb now? Even if they are done well, do they really create good horror?" Uh, I say, you know, I, I've read all the theories about zombies, and a lot of people say that the fear of zombies is. The kind of the fear of our own mortality. Um, I think zomb- you can still make a good zombie movie. I don't think you can make a scary zombie movie anymore, though. No, it's too predictable. We all know exactly one person goes in, that virus is not going to make it, and then you know exactly someone's going to jump out and all that stuff. Yeah. I, su- I suppose, it, to a degree, it depends on how you make the zombies. Mm-hmm. I know um, 28 Days Later was highly lauded for its... Quasi unique take. I'm sure the, you mean the where they can run at human speed. Yeah, yeah I, I, you know, I'm sure the the fast twitch viral zombies is not a completely new thing. But I know, it, as far as the mainstream was concerned, that was that was looked at as as being something kind of breaking the mold. But I mean, um, e- even even going so far as like, how do you define zombie? Manchurian Candidate is that a zombie? I mean, brainwashing. It, it, there, even there's a lot even of the original there. like definition of a zombie is essentially brainwashing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is uh, the Torah? Yeah, the whole voodoo zombie thing. Right. Mm. It has nothing to do with someone being undead or dead already. So. Well, I mean, I didn't get to see this show, uh, this movie, um, but like apparently it was like revolutionary. Um, Three days later. No. Um, we talked. We just talked. <laughs> oh, literally just. Said. <laughs> yeah, like about ten seconds ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was. Pie is delicious. Yeah. Pie is amazing. You know what? Sean, have more coffee. War, War Z, Z. Like apparently that was like you know really. War Z. Like, yeah. I don't no spoilers for me, please. But like I mean, apparently it was just. Off War, the chain. War Z is like um, it is it's like 28 days later, but it's like on a much mainstream, much more epic scale. I, yeah. I was the guy, to understand the, the book was. The book better. is the book mm-hmm. is far better. The guy who wrote the book. The book is written by the film. The book really? is written by Mel Brooks' um, son. Because <laughs> yeah, the book the book is by Max Brooks, who is Mel Brooks' son. We also wrote How to Touch Survive well, a Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah, he, he wrote the z- so Max Kaminsky. Yes. <laughs> um, Whatever. <laughs> what the 
the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it was the surname of Mel Brooks. No, uh, I actually, they recently put the movie on Netflix, and it's... <sighs> it's good. I mean, it's good. Max, Max Brooks doesn't like fast zombies. Let me tell you that. And really? he's fat, and the movie is just fast. Wasn't zombies. the book really more based upon, like, the political awareness, like, what happens, like, when a zombie apocalypse happens? It, it doesn't really it, talk it's, about... You, it's mostly, like, journal entries and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's only, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, more like, how does the world function with now with zombies in the world? That's it. So, yeah. I, I, mm. I did particularly like South Park's commentary on World War Z. I don't believe I've seen that episode yet. I, I thought it was funny, too. Uh, and it... <clears throat> If you Matt and Trey, we mentioned you guys again. Please give us money. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, right. we love you. <laughs> Move, I think we've people. covered that well enough. Yeah. And also, you can't uh, horror has no Z's in it, so it, it you can't spell horror without zombie. So <laughs> what? Question. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you spell the extreme <laughs> radical way. <laughs> horror and death go hand in hand. <clears throat> what is the most painful way to die? I don't know. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Most gruesome? Better question. Mm-hmm. Uh, best death in a horror film? Awesome question. Oh, <laughs> I have some way to pick from. <laughs> so, what would you guess is the most painful, gruesome way to die? I mean, I I can tell you of a movie I watched. I was telling Sean, actually, when we were at the grocery store. The, there's one scene... Uh, the series of movie is Saul. Um... The third one, there's one one contraption. The movies never really bother me because I love those movies, but there's one contraption that actually really bothered me. Was that scene when the guy was kind of strapped into all four appendages and then also his head, where it starts slowly starts turning his uh, his limbs until oh, it breaks. Yeah. And then very last, first it's his arms and then his legs, like 360. and then, No, 180. And eventually what happens, the last one is his head. And for some reason, after I watched that, I got home that night and I was like sleeping in my room. And I was extremely disturbed by that for whatever reason. So to me, it wasn't even that like gruesome or gory. It was just really disturbing to watch for me. Hmm. Um, this isn't necessarily um, in a horror film, but like it's a way that I've heard people kill people, uh, jaw and quartering people. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Fuck. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite certain it's been done in some kind of film. What's drawn and quartering? Sure. Drawn and quartering. Uh, it's. Uh, okay. Well, pretty much. Um, oh, strong. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like don't, don't they the string you stuff. up uh, right heart. <laughs> and and tie you to the back of a, a carriage, yeah. and then like drag you for like a couple miles. Pull you forward. No, no, that's quartering. Drawing and quartering uh, <clears throat> is the the original way they do it is they get four horses. Yeah. Uh, they oh, tie yeah. War- one horse to one arm, <clears throat> one horse to the other arm, one horse to one leg, and one horse to the other leg. And they split you into quarters. Right. That's, that's right. Well, there's another way. Then uh, they, it's like a variation, and like they fucking drag you for miles. That, and then that actually could be the drawing part of drawn and quarter because that's quarter. That's is where that's, that's drawing of. and nothing else. In here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's like yeah, the, like the combination of the two. You know, drag you for a couple miles and then fucking pull you apart. Uh, I, I also <clears throat> fucking cut your balls off. And, uh, you know how they grave hard. Almost or, never. You mean, mean like you mean like a mortal and just sledgehammered it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I n- almost never use as an execution, but you could theor- theoretically bleed out from that. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like because I know that they used to like back in the day, especially when you used to like do shit. The Inquisition. Uh, yeah, like where you were against the. <clears throat> Kings and queens and shit, they wanted to draw that shit out as much as possible, so they would like fucking take your balls one day um, and then the next put day. Put your exhibiting bastard. <laughs> That's I, I, have a, I have a very clinical answer for this, actually. Okay. Uh, I'd say most painful would probably be bone cancer, simply because, uh, as I understand, uh, um, ha- uh, bone marrow biopsies and stuff like that, uh, transfusions, uh, apparently, is that that's the most painful thing that you can experience. Actually, more painful than a spinal tap. And as far as most gruesome, I believe it's called a pleural effusion. It's uh, where your lungs fill up with fluid and mm. you feel like you're drowning, and then you actually do drown in your own. Yeah, that's fluid. actually I have, so, so in a way similar to what I was going to say. Uh, Suffocation, but in sort of, sort of. Um, 
anyone who knows the Allen Hour, uh, there's one of the first Rupert episodes where he talks about uh, chlorine gas. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I brought up that up because Greg asked me, like, uh, ways to die that terrify you. Because it's supposed to be, like, drowning, but you're not underwater. Yeah. Essentially. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, if, if I understand chlorine gas right, it's because you're actually, like, you actually start choking on parts of your lungs that you're coughing up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I th- you know uh, there's a theory. People think that, like, drowning, I think, is, like, the quickest way to die. It's, like, it's, like, quick and it's over. But no, no, no. no. <laughs> when you, have you ever tried to hold your breath forever? Like that's like one of the most painful um, things in the world. And the second part <laughs> of this yeah, question is best death in a horror film. Oh, actually, <laughs> oh uh, man, I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to add to most gruesome. Uh, real before we get into best death in a horror film, and uh, probably getting stabbed in the guts and being poisoned on your own shit. Uh, oh that's, yeah, that's probably the one that like sticks with me mentally. Um, best death in a horror film, though. Oh, Let's go around uh, again. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't even know. Didn't that's, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I have a weird answer, because I'm... I don't watch a lot of horror films, but... There was... And I don't even know why this scene sticks out to me, but... In, like, either late middle school or early high school, I went to go watch The Ring with a few of my friends, right? American or Japanese? Uh, American okay. in theaters, right? I'm sorry. And... <laughs> <laughs> This is. Well, I'm gonna point out ahead of time too, that uh, we. I think me and Tyler picked this because we're such horror nerds, and Tyler's not here, so I'm like the only horror nerd here. But so there's gonna be a lot of silence for me in this episode. <laughs> a lot. Well, I'm gonna make but, you talk, bitch. But, uh, <laughs> but um, it's uh, that horse. You know the horse. Have you guys ever seen the movie? What movie? Oh, the Ring. Uh, oh, the Ring. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and the Not horse, like, charges towards the main character, jumps off the boat, and then gets, like, chopped up with the propeller, and the little kid screams because of it. <laughs> I don't even know why that scene sticks out to me. This I'm movie pre- was PG-13, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there, I'm pretty sure there oh, are that way out. more gruesome deaths, but for some reason, it's just... I, I don't know. Good. Yeah, I think like I'm that. Done also, you know, it's... Yeah. I think it has something to do with boat propellers. I think I have a subconscious fear of boat propellers, because I remember watching Titanic 2. The guy, the the guy that gets jacked That was the propellers. funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But I, remember, I actually remember the first time seeing that as a kid, I was just like... At first I heard it, I didn't know what happened, but I heard everyone in the crowd just go, ooh! And so then the next time I went to go watch it, I was just like, okay, where's this guy? Why is everyone saying this? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Whoa! You, re- you, you, re- you rewatched the entire three or four hour movie just for that scene. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I was like, okay, I was like, okay they're on the boat. Okay, she, she drew her naked. Okay, the boat's sinking. Okay, right, 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 it's a long ass movie. All right, man. guys, bear with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the projector guy fast forward this. <laughs> There's something cool that I missed. Just get to the tits and then the propeller guy. <laughs> can we, can we do frame by frame, please? Can we do that? One, two, three. Boom! Right there. Yep. That's where it is. Didn't That's so, what I missed. Did oh. someone get stabbed through the dick? Like it's something. God, like, stabbed stab through the what? Uh, I, I can think. <laughs> Stab through the way. Oh, I guess. The By the way, if, if, if you guys hear old lady's voice, my sister's here too. She's just listening. I can oh, think gosh. of one specific film with a stab through the dick scene. <laughs> stab and through the what again? I'm about to mention. <laughs> funny ass. I'm about to mention a, <laughs> the a kind of an obscure fucking film. Uh, it's called The Serpent and the Rainbow. No, I've seen that. Uh, it, I think it's either Mike, one of those fucking Douglases. Michael or Kirk, whichever. <laughs> um, whichever one is not blowing you. But it yeah. deals with voodoo, and at one point they have him in a chair, and a fucking spike or nail goes through his dick or something. I, I don't know how the fuck I know that. Like, I fucking think I remember seeing that shit. I don't know how I saw that shit. But I um, think most, I'm, I'm still trying to think of my... my oh, movie DeMarcus. Actually, the best you know what? I have another, another scene I actually thought about. Um, when I was a little kid, uh, my parents had like HBO and Showtime, right? And um, I was channel surfing one day, and the channel landed on Full Metal Jacket. Oh my right? gosh! And it was that a scene, horror film. Yeah, it was, it's not a horror <laughs> film, but it was that scene where Gummer Pilot shoots himself in the head. I had no idea what was going on. Oh, I was like okay. six or seven. But my dad came in, and he was just like, "Hey, what are you watching?" <laughs> and he grabbed me, <laughs> took me outside the door, <laughs> closed the door, and he told me that I wasn't allowed to watch TV in his room. 
It's, I, it's like, it's but like, it was so traumatizing. That's the first time I've oh. ever seen like blood and gore. Uh, ever. I, I feel like your dad it's caught still, you with porn or something no, like that. No, it's like, <laughs> come here. <laughs> no, the the porn the porn talk can be about another time. That'll be on the next episode <laughs> of Alan, of Alan Arch. Talking about this. Uh, this isn't makes, exactly a death, but I'd say one of the most disturbing. Uh, death adjacent scenes that I've seen in a movie. And you, you guys are gonna laugh at me. I know it. Um, okay. Ha! Thanks. When they when they remade the Zorro story with Anthony Hopkins okay. and Antonio Banderas, and Antonio Banderas had to drink the wine that came uh, from the jar with his brother's head in it. Yeah, that was actually his, yeah, his brother's head. Yeah. That. Yeah, that got me. Another PG-13 yeah. movie. Yeah, woo! <laughs> Yay for terrifying children. <laughs> okay, well, what, so are you asking for most gruesome deaths in the movie, or just the coolest ones, or your favorite, where is that it is? Uh, best death in a horror film. Okay, yes. I guess... Oh, horror film. Okay, okay my favorite film. death in a horror film, I can think of just right now, top of my head, is probably Sleepy Hollow, when Horseman cut off that fat guy's head, and he just kept spinning around. <laughs> like it eventually fell down, and eventually the head rolled downhill, Hit Johnny Depp's right between the crotch with the head, and the, and the horse came in to grab the head. Just went, <laughs> and then of course Johnny Depp, you know, Ichabod Crane just faints. So I don't know why the head spinning just kind of made just I thought it was hysterically awesome. Um, okay, this is another horror nerd moment for me because none of you have seen this movie. Uh, it's Lucio Fulci's Zombie. Uh, nope. It's an Italian. It's an Italian zombie movie. Uh, now every every movie has every horror movie has some variation on the quick something goes through the eye scene. Yeah. Now imagine it's not quick. Imagine you're watching this zombie slowly push a woman's head towards a spike. Ah. And it's slow and drawn out. Like saving Private Ryan with a knife? <laughs> and just you see penetration and it's fucking a nightmare. That's also uh, they they post a gif from this movie all the time online <laughs> uh, of the zombie fighting the shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am so confused right now. I've that never movie seen that. that movie has the best juxtaposition of like actual terrifying horror and gore and the silliest shit you'll ever see <laughs> in your entire life. So you're telling us we should all go write this movie. Right? Uh, <laughs> Lucio Fulci's Zombie. That's a cool Lucio name. Lucio Fulci. Lucio Fulci is a, Lucio it's an Fulci. Italian it's director. A, oh, it sounds like a Japanese movie. <laughs> Lucio Fulci. <laughs> My old roommate actually couldn't Lucio. tell the difference between uh, Japanese holy, and Spanish. Holy cannolis! <laughs> <laughs> holy okay. cannolis zombie! So, what was the last nightmare you remember? What was the worst nightmare? I'm gonna say just worst nightmare. My last is my yeah. worst. Because I can't remember all my nightmares. No, that's true. I don't have nightmares I anymore. Nightmare. I feel really I, yeah. happy for that. Mm -hmm. Um, my last nightmare dream is you go, okay. You know the classic dream when you like you're actually conscious that you're dreaming, and then when you try to move, um, you can't. You know, like you feel like something's pressing down on your body, right? Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so you have this. But, but so here's what happened. I basically had like an inception dream. Okay, it's really, really weird. <clears throat> I keep waking up in my room, okay? Like, the room I'm sleeping in, and I, you know, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And then, the only reason I know I'm still in dreams is because I know where my fire uh, smoke alarm is, and the light on there is usually, it's either, I can't remember what was supposed to be, it's supposed to be beeping or staying, uh, the light's supposed to be constant or beeping, okay? Uh, oh, so you're talking about a lucid dream. Yeah, something like that. But the thing is, <clears throat> I, and I keep, and every time I keep waking it up, I keep waking up in the same room, and then, the, the, I got to a point where I'm, like, getting really frustrated, and I'm actually getting kind of pissed. But it was also really frightening, cause it might, because when you're sleeping, your body's paralyzed. And something was just holding me down. I can just kind of feel this presence just holding me down. Kind of like a demon type of thing, right? But you don't can't see it. So, it's kind of like, you know, Jonah Hill and This is the End, that black demon. It's kind of really annoying. But, <laughs> <laughs> with a big dick, you know, that, that guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Except there's no dick. The of Christ compares, compels you. Does it really? Does it really? <laughs> Except there's no dick in this one, okay? <laughs> Anyways, the point is, um, I, eventually I, I literally just like, I was like trying to open my eyes the whole time, and I woke up, I was waking up and like just soaked in sweat. And I, I was like, and I was actually actually afraid to go back to sleep. Because sometimes when I do that, I go back to the exact same dream. Yeah. You know, when you go back to sleep, you can dream of something different? Yeah. Same dream. So it's like, for me, I actually had trouble sleeping kind of for the rest of the night, but eventually I got 
was too tired. I was like, all right, screw you, Dream. I'm going to just fight you. So whatever it is. And then whatever it is, I don't know. I didn't dream it again until the morning came up. But it was one of those things where it freaked me out. Because it wasn't like I was waking up in some fantasy land that's horror. It was my room. Yeah. Yeah. So is it? It's not like my room was out of place. Everything was exactly the same, except for the smoke detector. Yeah, so that's, like, that's called um, a that's called a false awakening. Also, uh, the <laughs> sleep paralysis you're describing, the the nightmare. A lot of uh, artists way back in the day, before there was any like you know real scientific explanation for things, they would paint nightmares as demons sitting on people's chests. That's pretty much yeah. what it is. Yeah. So that's shit. Because your body is just paralyzed. Your body's yeah. so not just shut down. Josh. So. Um, awesome answer. I gotta remind you, you're new. Uh, the first two rules of coffee and pie. First is there always must be coffee and pie, of course. Second is Sean goes first. Oh. <laughs> you're silent for the while, so I wasn't I, sure. I know. I, 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 I can't think of anything for this. <laughs> can, I, can I ask okay. the reasoning for this, for this law? Oh, uh, uh, he decided our he first, went first, our first now. Ep- our first episode... <laughs> he decided. Uh, no, it was just like, who wants to go first? No one said anything. <laughs> so I went first. And then Alan got all like, oh, I guess Sean's going first. <laughs> oh, Sean's going first. I didn't first. say who oh, wants no. to go first. I, I, I heard that shit. You just kind of jumped in, John. <laughs> no one said anything. All right. like seven seconds of Okay, all right, guys, my apologies. Sean will go for you. But, um, it, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, what, what are the questions again? <laughs> Jeez. Was it was your first nightmare. 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 <laughs> you're your not wor- even a part of this. Shut <laughs> up. Sorry, you're just not, you're just not listening. What's, what's your worst nightmare? My worst nightmare? <clears throat> uh, shh, nothing about it. Um, back in high school, I had one of those dreams where, you know, one of those commons, you die in your dream, and you see yourself in third person. So, you're like, you're a spirit, and then you see, you know, your body and what people do around you, right? So that entire dream, I had to see what is done with my body. <laughs> so like, I wasn't buried, I was cremated, right? So first, you know, I died, they find me, you know, they take me to the hospital, I'm dead. They take me to the morgue, you know, they get rid of all my stuff. And then, you <laughs> That's know, <awkward>. yep. <laughs> so I'm just watching like, in full detail, like, you know, the knife going in, and, like, everything going out. I'm just like, I can't feel any of this, but it's me, you know? <laughs> like, Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Any rebuttals, guys? This is, yeah. Yeah. No, this I'll, uh, is gonna be the super not fucking funny episode. <laughs> I, I, I have a rebuttal. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then it's just like, and then it's like, I get cremated. And it's just like, oh, like I'm, I'm like hovering above my body, right? And not I more. see me, and I just see like my skin like burning and turning into ash. And I was just like, and I wake up, and I was just like, what happened? <laughs> What in the on. actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's your rebuttal, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, my rebuttal is, uh, I, I, I don't know exactly what the reasoning behind this is, but I assume it's because of how many movies I watched as a kid, but um, or just in life in general. Uh, I have always dreamt in third person. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, of course. Like, really? as, if, as if my perspective was that of the cameraman's, and I am watching mm-hmm. myself do everything... And the first time that I dreamt in first person was after my first kiss, because I had always imagined a kiss going a certain way because I was imagining it in third person, and then it happened in first person. It was like so much, it was just such a weird shift in perspective. That was the first time I dreamt in first person was after my first kiss. Uh-huh. But um, no, my my nightmare. I had a recurring nightmare as a kid. It, it wasn't like. I had it, like, for four years or anything like that, but it was just, like, maybe, like, one year of my life, I had it for a few months, maybe, um, and it was, it was this weird nightmare where I was, like, I was at my summer camp or something like that, and, uh, one of the instructors told me that I had done, a I, I had done well that, that day or something, they were gonna give me a prize, and I was, like, cool, a prize, and they were, like, okay, come with me in the, uh, in the truck, we'll go up to the, uh, the shed, uh, for the prize, and I was like, "Cool!" And I went with. This isn't a rape thing. I just, you guys, <laughs> you guys look so worried there for a second. This looks like, I mean, like just, if someone, just, if someone invites you into a truck and takes you to a shed, is this the Mr. No, Mackey it's episode not, himself? Not, it's, not, it's not a rape. Thing. How much candy okay. did he offer you? No, no, no. Okay, so it's it's, so it's one of the counselors I knew. So I, I wasn't there wasn't a trust issue or anything. So I get in the car and they're they're driving me up to this this shed that's like their utility shed or whatever, and. It's starting to get dark outside, 
And they're like, okay, your your prize is just up in that shed, and, I, and they didn't go with me. And I was like, I was like, this okay. Doesn't and sound. so I'm. I, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's like actively ball. getting dark in my dream. I'm walking up the path to the shed. I open the door, and there is this like. <laughs> I, I kid you not. This is. I can't make this shit up. There is the backlit silhouette of motherfucking Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh my like, god! It was the most terrifying <laughs> thing. It was just this weird egg-shaped body. It was the Kinder Surprise. It was... <laughs> um, like, note to self. I'm making saying, a note to link to that when I post it. So <laughs> note to self. If we don't have a ability to get into someone's dreams, never hook up your mind. I don't want yeah, to. No. And it was, it was, I kid you not, it was, it was this weird egg-shaped weird-looking guy Sitting on um, a wall. Th- no, the the easiest way I can des- describe it, it was like a spool. It was like a bobbin, um, but it was like a big, like you know, person-sized bobbin mm-hmm. sort of thing. Sitting on that and just kind of turned and looked at me, and I it never went any further than that in my dream. I'd always yeah freak out and wake wake up, but that was yeah oh. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird that you say Please that because that. <laughs> it's weird that you say that. My sister can vouch for me, but uh, back in the day, we used to have this like beanbag thing. I don't remember, but it was like a pink Humpty Dumpty thing with like the beanbag legs that you could just like put on things to sit on. Do you uh, not remember that? Yeah. yeah, remember that? Yeah, and I remember back in uh, junior high, like friends would come over, and there was one girl in my group who was just terrified of that thing. So naturally, so. you elf on a shelf turn. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, it's this this thing. No, uh, but, uh, and it was really funny because like we, move it around. we would like so. we would we would get everyone we would have everyone hang out. My mom would be like, "Okay, we got pineapple cake for everyone." <laughs> oh my gosh, this pineapple cake is great! And oh my god, what's that? <laughs> and it's just like it's, it's our Humpty Dumpty egg. And now I think about it, I think actually Humpty Dumpty is a legit like terrifying thing. I'm glad he <laughs> fell off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no, no need to lose a life over it. Jeez. <laughs> hey, egg for everybody. Yeah, um, man, I'm hungry. Man, I don't, I don't, I have trouble remembering my dreams. Uh, like, there's only a couple random ass dreams I remember, and they're just fucking because they're just. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and but in I, I really remember my my nightmares. So like, I'll remember them uh, like the night I'll remember that I had them and then like the next day I, it's gone so like <laughs> I don't have any nightmares to share I can tell you like a, a weird ass what about that one where you woke up white <laughs> <laughs> wait he actually woke up white <laughs> life got, <laughs> life got better <laughs> 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 Uh, it really is pretty rad. <laughs> Sean and I would know. I took an unexpected no, no, turn. <laughs> All I can say is, our, this isn't a scary dream. It was a dream. And yeah, tonight is all about dicks for me, I guess. I don't know yeah, why. Dude. <laughs> but there was one dream, I had a dick on my chest. Like, it was like... <laughs> No, 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 Is this like someone else's dick? Or no. Like it was like growing it was a, a dick. It was a growth. No, wait, wait, wait. No, go dick, on. The dick that grew, grew from my chest. <laughs> like, was it, did it function? Was it functional? <laughs> yeah, apparently, I'm, because... I'm not sure. Of, <laughs> how is this a nightmare again? Yeah, it's not. Did, it's, you, did, you, did you jerk it once? No. What happened was... How do you know if it's functional? Three times. How I know it was functional is because the rent... Apparently, I... Went into the men's bathroom, and there was a fucking woman in there for some reason. And she and sucked your chest in. <laughs> and Help all of a sudden, was it we were on, on the birth. ground, and she was on top of my chest dick, and just <laughs> fucks it. Like, dude! <laughs> so, okay. Hey! Cover the microphone! <laughs> um, what the hell just happened here? What the actual? I don't know! So, wait, so the it's, it's like said, the like, sleep is this paralysis demon. I don't get it. <laughs> At first, when you said it, I was like, oh, he just had one on his chest. You were just laying there, and there was just a random one on your chest the entire dream. I was no, just like, <laughs> there was a, a functional dick. See, I knew that it worked because I woke up and my chest was covered with cum. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Demarcus, I think you're done for now. 
Oh. Great answers, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, I went from normal to just psychotically like, weird. <laughs> uh, I have two answers. My my joke worst nightmare, which was actually a dream I had, and my actual worst night. My joke worst nightmare is the Alan drinks Rumplemans nightmare. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, explain to the uh, to explain. Occasionally, uh, when we are at a bar, Brad Brad or someone else will order. It, it was you at first. <laughs> yeah. Brad will order me a shot of Rumplemints, and I will not want to take it. <laughs> and Brad will start an Alan drinks Rumplemints chant. <laughs> Alan, Alan drinks Rumplemints. Rumplemints. Alan drinks Rumplemints. Alan so, drinks Rumplemints. They got me fucking plastered. <laughs> this is real. The dream now. Uh, this no, this real that really this happened. Real. This real. Okay, right. So I had a dream once that they kept doing that until I died. <laughs> And then, at my funeral, they put a funnel in my mouth. <laughs> and kept pouring rubber. <laughs> I think this is the deletest, this is the deletest scene from Beer Fest, I'm guessing. <laughs> Are we still chanting? We better be still chanting. <laughs> Just but very yeah, softly. Like, Alan Alan no, you were still really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Just never accepting my death. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're real, I guess you're real nice. See, I guess that was a nightmare, but <laughs> you. I was I never woke up like creeped out or anything. I woke up thinking that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> my actual worst nightmare. I had a dream that I was like really small and in this kitchen and I was hiding from some giant so it was like a regular sized kitchen for him. And he finally found me and threw me in this microwave. Oh. And. Yeah. Like kick ass too? At that moment? <laughs> oh, shit. Did, did you, do you remember exploding? Or I like... don't remember exploding. I remember. It was first person too. I remember like looking at my arms and like my skin bubbling and shit. Oh, like a, oh shit. That's uh, a lovely image. And all you heard in the background was. Alan drinks rumble. <laughs> this, this will be the mintiest roast we've ever had. Be five, fo Alan drinks rumble mint. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Uh, we uh, last Tumblr question. <laughs> what is the most horrific thing you've seen on the internet? Uh, Goatsy? Top girl? Oh shit! Uh, uh, horrific thing! Wow! Uh, I am the arbiter. I'll be honest, I tend to avoid those. <laughs> oh, no one here knows about I am the arbiter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get this out of the way. Uh, I, I used to be on 4chan a lot, I, not at all anymore. Uh, so, if you don't know, the arbiter is a character in the Halo series. Who kind of has like the predator face thing going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so someone posted a picture of a guy who had shot himself. Fuck. Uh, and his mouth was dangling open with like parts of it, and the text just said, "I am the arbiter." Oh, it's horrible. Because oh, wow. the internet horrific. is it's full of terrible people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sean, you want to go first before I say anything? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Um. I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet, and you know, there's some things that, like, even though it's, like, really, really graphic, sometimes it doesn't, like, even phase me, right? But the one thing that phased me, it happened recently, too, and spoilers, um, if you guys haven't seen The Mountain and the Viper on Game of Thrones yet, watch that, and, or cover your ears, Brad's Brad. covering his ears. <laughs> but, um, you guys will know what I'm talking about, but it's... Yeah. I heard that was pretty rough. Yeah, it's uh, what's his name? Oberon Mar Oberon Martell. Yeah, against, against, was, against, against Mountain. Mountain yeah, McClane. like that was the thing that got me to actually like freak out. Like I would, I was cringing when I saw that for the first time. Yeah, the time. Tam brothers were telling yeah. about that. It was so messed up. Hey, you know how that's not on the internet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Most horrific thing you've seen on the internet? Well, that that's how I got the episode. I I watched it over the. Oh, internet. that doesn't fucking. Count. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's the most terrific thing I've seen on the internet? Okay. Uh, an episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, you want? You want to? I can go if you want to think about it. Uh, psh, I don't know. Maybe 
that was that one that was that one gif or a video from a long time ago. I saw it when I was in like ninth or tenth grade, but it was like of a Russian soldier and he had like a prisoner of war or something, and he was like stepping on this guy's head and really slow he would stab like a combat knife through his neck and like slowly saw it off. Anyone ever seen that? I think my mom had actually. Not out. Oh no, yeah. my my mom was my mom was sadistic at one but, point. She was like, like it's, not, it's not only the video, but the audio like, too. So you can why? actually hear like the screaming. Wanna, and the gurgling. Oh shit! I, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. I'm gonna post this episode. Did anyone know the Freakazoid uh, episode? Happy Vision. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Uh, it's been a while since Where like when any, whenever anything horrifying. Uh, or like action packed or too violent happens in the episode. They just cut to like video of a field. Oh. Relaxo vision. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is, uh, yeah, there is, we yeah. go. It's like a please stand by kind it's of thing. Like a yeah, so it'd be like a, like a, a happy field, field or, or like a, a tank of fish or something. So like mm-hmm. instead of the like the usual video where it's just the picture of me, Demarcus, and Sean, we'll just get to horrifying parts of this podcast, and it's just. <laughs> Here's a beautiful field of flowers. <laughs> uh, I can... Oh, you had one. Well, yeah, I had a couple, but I'll go with the more, more suitable one. It's kind of similar to what Sean was just talking about with the whole test slicing. It's like, someone put this on Facebook, actually. It was on my Facebook feed, and I'm not sure if I saw this. I don't know where I saw it, but I was flipping through, and it's like one of the websites you can go through through Facebook, the links you hit on Facebook. It's basically during, like, I think World War II or during the, Ch- the Japanese occupation of China, where they do the Jap- Chinese people at the time. Oh, the Ripper Man. Oh, my gosh. Like, it was, it was actual photos of actual people's deaths mm-hmm. and some guy's, like, head being, just, like, head chopped off his head. He's in an Indian sitting position. His head's right here. You can literally see the blood just, like, squirt from his, from his stump right there. It's just a picture of that. Baby's being killed. This, this lady having her head chopped off. I'm like, I'm like, I'm saying this, like, who the hell posted this? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Relax, vision. <laughs> so that's like the most, dis- hor- most horrific thing that I can think of most recently. Share if you think it's violent. <laughs> I mean, fucking anything on E-Bomb's world. Uh, <laughs> anything? Yeah. I'm a computer. Because there's I mean, a lot of funny things well, on E-Bomb's I mean, world. Well, a lot Stop of the stuff the on that, like, on the fucking crazier side, I'm like, like I remember, like, seeing burn-ass motherfuckers. Uh, and people's guts out of the ass, it, like it was out of their what? Out of the ass. Um, <clears throat> okay. It, it was just like I was just holy shit. Yeah. I remember. I mean, I'm not on the internet much uh, because I don't have internet and all that jazz. But like, and I didn't when I was younger. But I remember going to e and I was like, God damn. Well, like, I went there for the GI Joe yeah. PSAs, but <laughs> uh, pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> so for me. Holy shit. For me, it's things that you don't expect to find where you're looking. Mm. One of the things that really freaked me out was I was looking up Rent the Musical yeah. on, on Google, and I typed in Rent, and then went over to Images, and one of the images that was in the search when I was looking for it, I don't know if it's still there or not, but it was for renting a, a uh, fake corpse that had drowned so i'm just i just flipped over to images and there is like one of those waterlogged skin sloughing off corpses and i was from movies and that kind of thing yeah but i didn't realize it at the time i had to have someone else look at it and tell me that that was a prop but i was just because like i freaked out i like i clicked over because expecting to find fucking you know musical images yeah yeah and there is a corpse just there and no explanation so that was freaky i just went on a rant on facebook that reminds me of i think it was might have been you i was talking to because again i used to be on 4chan a lot and on 4chan you develop a superpower if you if you surf 4chan enough and it's an amazing superpower it's that as you scroll through 4chan or any other forum, you can be aware that there is a picture of a dick and not look at it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Come problem. again? So, <laughs> so, and I just went on a rant on uh, on Facebook about trypophobia. The 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 the, lo- the, the lotus, lotus tit. Yeah, the lotus seed pod Photoshop thing. Mm-hmm. Except the one that's that going thing around is now. Older than the internet. Yeah, yeah. The Photoshop is the one that's going around now is. From from what I can guess, an actual special effect where someone took a lotus seed pod, put it on their neck, and then used actual real hmm. practical effect makeup to make it look like it was a part of their skin. Weird. And oh, and trypophobia is pretty messed up. Yeah. But I'd say the most horrific thing that I read. And was, you, you posted it on Facebook. I'm going to reiterate it here. 
Do not Google trypophobia. <laughs> <laughs> you just realized by doing that they're gonna go go. Well, yeah. <laughs> if 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 you know what's good for you, don't. Uh, I mean, if you are sadistic, I mean, you're probably gonna do it. But why don't you explain what trypophobia don't is? Don't blame us. Tri- trypophobia is an innate human fear of having holes in themselves. Okay. So, but no, the, the the thing that I I have seen the most recently that is probably the most fucked up thing that I've seen was on a Reddit uh, post of TIFU, which is today I fucked up, and it was a guy posted today I fucked up by urinating on a girl, and I I, Kelly? I had <laughs> to read the story. And the guy was like, he was telling how his girlfriend had, had joked about how she, you know, oh, we should try this, I might be into it, and, and I've never done it before, and he had never done it before, and so, like, they were in the shower one time, and he was like, eh, what the hell, and he, he starts peeing on her leg, and she drops down real fast so that he's peeing on her face, and he can't stop peeing, so he's just like, okay, this is happening now, and... She gets up and she was like, that was so hot, I need to bang right now. And he was like, okay, I'll roll with it. And I guess they cleaned up and they were eating dinner later and she was making some joke about, yeah, it's funny how your pee tasted sweeter. And and he was like, how would you know? Ha, ha, ha. And she didn't say anything. And then later when they were cleaning up their dishes, she broke down and was like, yeah, I, that wasn't my first time. I've had pretty much every ex-boyfriend I've had do that to me. It's just something I'm into. And he said that was the last in a string of lies that made him realize that he needed it in the relationship. So a day or two later, he's talking to one of his friends who's in pre-med, whatever, and they're having lunch together. And he was like, yeah, and I broke up with my girlfriend. I said, hey, look on the bright side. She said, at least my pee tasted sweet. And he dragged him to the clinic immediately, and he got diagnosed with diabetes. (laughs) Because that's a marker for diabetes. Oh, Oh, my God. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, oh, shit, And then shit, someone fucked dude. the dick on his chest. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is apparently a bad episode. <laughs> What's our topic for this tonight again? Horror! Okay. Oh, oh, horror. Okay, cool. horror. 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 Well, that's Horror. it for the Tumblr questions. <laughs> Thank you, Activius and Ask Mentally Advanced Twilight for those. Activii. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go move on to our topics. Uh, and the first one is going to be, what is your favorite horror film? And also list your least favorite if you have one. I know not a lot of your guys, again, not as big a horror nerds as I am. But yeah, let's start with Sean. Skip me. I've got to think. You want her to speak for you? Do you want to speak for me? If you want, my sister can answer for me, so... Okay. Okay, yep, step on in. You can't... Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is my sister, Cherie. The funniest horror movie is the Evil Dead movie. Um, you we, are old. Uh, I actually should have said this. I told it to you, and I said I was going to say it to everyone. Uh, it has to be something that legitimately scared you. That okay. legitimately scared me? Yeah, if we're... T- uh, I intentionally did not pick Evil Dead 2. <laughs> I intentionally did not pick Shaun of the Dead because they're, funny. they're not scary. They're well, funny. Evil Dead was supposed to be scary, but I, I mean, it was kind of scary. Are you talking about the original or the remake? The original. Okay. The original was kind of scary, but the thing is, is that, like, <clears throat> it's just, like, the, just the makeup and the claymation that they have at the very end that didn't make it very yeah. lifelike. That just didn't make it scary. Plus, Bruce Campbell couldn't get up from the, like, just think of the floor and have to <laughs> fell on him. So. Yeah. But, Nothing about the tree rape scene, right? I mean, that was kind of was weird, hot. too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> you wanna, if you want an alternate take, uh, and it is not rape, I highly suggest checking out Evil Head. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it's real. Uh... Damn. Is it a porn? It is totally a porn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought Wreck was really scary. Joanna Angel. Which one? Wreck. Wreck. The, the Spanish know. version of Quarantine. Oh, oh, sure. Wreck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, I really jumped out. That's the original version. That was about to be my answer. That, that oh, wow. scared me so much. Yeah. Oh, it was, a, it was the whole entire thing was just scary, but the scariest part was the very last scene, and I just freaked out and jumped so much that I just... Couldn't go anywhere. 
I would be like, if I go to the bathroom and there's a shower curtain, what happens if there's like a zombie that's going to eat me or something, you know, right behind the shower curtain and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, it's a really scary well, thing. What was the story? I actually... I haven't seen fourteen. It, it's, so. it's basically it's about it's basically demon um, possession, but it's like inside this apartment complex mm. full of people, like Spanish version. It's like everyone's stuck, including like this reporter a, has a camera. It's a virus. Yeah, it's like it's like Blair Witch Project style type of thing. It's, okay. a, it's basically it's a virus that makes that turns people into zombies. So you know your basic zombie stuff. And oh, I thought it was demon possession. My bad. <laughs> they they get infected, so they had to the American version. They quarantine the whole entire place, and they, that's what they did in Rec Two. Is that they quarantine the whole entire place? But I think it was just I couldn't I couldn't even go to sleep. Hmm. It was just it was the scariest hmm. movie ever. Huh. Uh, okay. What about the worst one. Not the worst one. It's a pretty good scary movie. If no, no. I mean, it's a two part <laughs> question. Yeah, worst uh, favorite the worst and one? least favorite. Oh. Uh, favorite The Ring. It wasn't, it was scary, but it was like, it was kind of like, eh. It was kind of like, But eh. the horse gets chopped up by the boat propeller. <laughs> <laughs> this was, we're not reliving your horror, it's her horror. <laughs> the Ring wasn't really that scary. I mean, it was scary, but it was, ugh. and then like, oh, what is that Japanese one? The Grudge? No. Pa- Pan's Labyrinth? No, it's oh, actually, it's actually, Japanese. natural Japanese one? And actually Japanese, I think it was called, uh, Ringu? Juon? No, it's the one where... Juno. Juno, that's the Juno. I'm sorry, people. Pregnancy's not part of this thing. 16 and pregnant. Um, It's the scariest thing. The original grudge wasn't that great either. Um, It was the one... Audition. That's oh, oh that the torture scenes. The torture oh, scenes my and gosh. all that other stuff. It was like it's, it's Korean. Really, it's Korean, isn't it? It was Japanese. No, it was Japanese. 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 It was really it's messed up. It was scary, but it was just mostly messed up than scary. So and that was. It's like, like really uncomfortable to watch. I don't know if that's like my least it? favorite, but it's like meh as well too. Yeah. I mean, it's hmm. more like a. Uh, okay. Thing. Uh, Demarcus, um, favorite and least favorite if you have one. Favorite, um, and apparently. My mom told me that when I saw this when I was a kid, I just could not sleep. She had to, like, you know, console me and shit. Um, fucking it. It's uh, it. Really? Clowns yeah. are messed up, man. I don't really? know. Really? At, t- at the time, I guess, like, fucking, and just the factor that he was, like, he could be anywhere. And, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That scary shit movie. scared the fuck out of me when I was a young youngster. Like, I I don't know. I think you take something so like cheerful and everything, and you just give it that you know that you know, that evil or you know you put that connotation to it, and you just like oh shit, you know. Uh, I, they float. There's parts of it that get me, but then they go in the cave. Spoilers, here's the ending of It. And they go in the cave, and it's just a giant spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, That's like, so anticlimactic, I don't know what to do with myself. Wa- watching it as an adult, I am, I am, I can handle it. I am full, I am totally okay with seeing it and everything. Uh, but, like, as a kid, like, I just, I couldn't handle that shit. Like, I don't know, like... Um, and then also it makes me appreciate it even more that I found that Tim Curry was a fucking clown. Uh, what's the clown's name? That makes sense. Pennywise. Pennywise, yeah. Uh, and I was like, what? It's Tim Curry? Transvestite? Yeah. Not the same person. (laughs) pre op post op I, uh, (laughs) I totally didn't, uh, I I watched that as an adult and Mm. I, 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 I was just like, that's it? I, like I said, I could see it as an yeah. adult being like, like Nostalgia you know, Critic did a review of uh, it, and he was very it? unimpressed. Oh, the, the Nostalgia Critic. I haven't seen the. Uh, we are going to watch it after this. Actually, play. maybe uh, I think what movie? maybe I saw yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, and like I said, as an adult, I could see it being like, okay, you know, it's, you know, it's like watching The Dark Crystal for the first time. <laughs> Twenty years. Yeah. I still haven't so seen The Dark Crystal. What's The Dark Crystal? You're, you're not going to love it. Half, 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 of, half of what's awesome about it is re-watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, here's a weird thing, because Alan talked about his fear of puppets one time, right? Yeah. And um, I've only seen the ending of Dark Crystal because every time it was on TV, I'd always catch the end of it, right? Hey, mm-hmm. but, I was with you. Yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I remember watching it for the first time. Like, I got the DVD from the library, and <clears throat> I, I understand <clears throat> why you're afraid of puppets. 
Yeah, because yeah. the giant yeah. vulture-looking thing with the sword hitting the rock. They're I'm called no Skeksis. I have no idea what's going on, but... I hate your whimper. Yeah. I still haven't seen it. Like, I want to. I just can't get past that scene. Yeah. <laughs> it's so frightening. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it is probably my favorite, and um, I probably have to say, like, least favorite is, like, any of the... the Chucky movies that's past like Child's Play, like originals, you know, like the ones that are yeah. like you know, ones? Bride of Chucky, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. or they're more comedic, you know, the son, Chucky, but they're, me they're meant to be more comedic, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Seed of Chucky, Chucky featuring uh, mm -hmm. yeah. what's her face, uh, Pamela Anders, no, 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 she who does the voice of his bride. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, she's also on Family Guy as Bonnie. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, what was her name? I do know her name. Jennifer Tilly? Is that yeah, that's Tilly. Yeah, Tilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like she she is actually in the movie mm. uh, as herself, and yeah, yeah. so is Red Man. Yeah, as herself. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, no, they played themselves, yeah, so. Reggie. Is Jennifer Tilly the voice of Lisa Simpson? No, no that no, no. is, oh my gosh. Somebody else. Not Nancy Cartwright. Uh, I, I can't Cartwright. remember his name. Nancy Cartwright's Bart. Oh. I can't remember her name. Okay, anyway. Yuli uh, Smith. There we go, Yuli Smith. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, so, like, yeah. I don't know. They just kind of, they... Because I know that how Chucky, you know, like, how they came... Any movie, once you get to, like, the ninth <laughs> installment. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Unless you're putting it in the hands of someone who's, like, trying to freshen it up. First yeah. Child's Play was mad. I seen the first Child's Play, but that was going to be pretty As a kid, that yeah. messed me up. Like, like those Chucky... Like, once they yeah. did the new... Fr right, exactly. And I'm one of the few I people, I think, to go to bat for this movie. Time. Uh, the Chilly new Friday the, the, Friday the 13th, I was like, I was like, where they just called it Friday the 13th, <laughs> yeah. I love the hell out of that movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the one was, it was, it was even Jason, right? It was just... No, 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 no. The original? The, the, the new Friday the, the 13th. Oh, the new Friday. Yeah. They yeah. just called Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that uh, was... I, I will absolutely... Uh, it was, uh, like, five or six years ago that came out in theaters. Was it a complete... Was it a remake of the first one or something? It's or? not even a remake of the first one. Was it not Freddy vs. Jason? No, that was no, cool. no, that no. Was, no. You, you no. just you just listed my, my my least favorite one, but I've never seen Freddy vs. <laughs> um, Jason. But no, yeah. it's just called Friday the Thirteenth, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think like one of the first thing, one the reason I love this movie so much is they tell a unique Jason story at the end, but they started off with almost a before credits mini movie hmm. that is just like here is what Jason does. Because the first 20 minutes of the movie, some teenagers go out to the Camp Crystal Lake okay. to have a party, and, and then Jason die. kills them off. Right, one the, classic. By one. the classic kill. That's the first 20 minutes of the movie, and then boom, Friday the 13th, opening credits start. So it's Shit. like, this is what the fuck Jason is, new generation. Yeah. This is how it's supposed to work. Yeah. We're going to tell our unique story now. But here is what you need to know. <laughs> this, is what he, this is the normal like it does. That. If, that's, that's if you saw Jason X, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker right. was in space. No. <laughs> you put your head in liquid nitrogen and it freezes. He's not gonna fight Fre Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna be in space. <laughs> he's not in New. He's not in fucking New York. <laughs> I still want to see that shit. Yeah, he's in New York. I still want to see sounds that. Like, shit. Sounds like it sounds like sounds like an satanic Muppets movie. <laughs> he's not in hell. <laughs> that was one too. Yeah, oh, I still that, want to see that. Oh, shit. Oh, which movie is it? Oh my god! Fight Busta Rhymes in a movie. <laughs> Oh no, that's <laughs> that's Michael Myers. That's Michael Myers. Uh, oh, okay. that's, 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 that's Halloween. Halloween yeah. Yeah. And it's a class, these are classic flasher movies. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, you hate Bride of Chucky. Yeah, so like those those kind of movies, yeah. Because like the Chucky, like the the Child's Play, those movies were like, if you think about that, like that is creepy as fuck to think that like something <clears throat> that is in your house can be become real and. You know, it, it's an inanimate object, but it can come real and start trying to fucking kill right. you. Like, fuck you know, like, and so it, it like this. I feel like it kind of discredits like some of those old ones, but yeah. Me? Okay. Well, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but my favorite horror movie, just because it gets my mind was blown at the end of it. Nothing, not because it's like super scary. I mean, or freaked out. It was, it was the first saw. Just because okay. what happened at the end. I mean, you want to do a spoil alert? I mean, yeah. if you haven't seen it by now, you're kind of an idiot. I'm sorry. It's been, the movie's Thank been out you. for like... Thanks. Thank you. The movie's been out like 20 years. Mm -hmm. so it's Just because it's a movie that's been out for 20 years and we didn't see it doesn't make us an idiot. I, still <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. Get out of the apartment. <laughs> 20 years ago, so like, what? 
I don't know. I'm making. I'm, exa- I'm, exaggerating. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. Okay. I Dumb and, still look, that. Dumb and Dumber's coming out in November. That's 20 years ago. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, that's a, that's another topic. It's, man, it's actually going to be pretty yeah. good. I think. No, I actually had a moment at work. Uh, they had a sign up that was like class reunion 1994, and I was like. For a ten-year class reunion, these people look kind of oh, oh god, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, Go on. For, so for the Saw movie, the reason I loved it so much was the ending at the end. Do you mind? That, that's why I don't. All know. right, okay. So the, the the main killer, you, the whole point is they deviate because it's a low-budget movie, so they had to focus a lot on story as much as possible. Mm-hmm. So the, at the end, the killer was inside the room the whole time. It was the guy who was dead, quote unquote, and. The, right on the end when he closes that door and says game over and the credits roll and Ad, the other guy Adam is screaming like ah and the credits just roll I literally just like just watched it and I just looked at the screen and I was just like that was the greatest thing I ever saw in my life and like for me it was just like insane because the whole time trying to figure out what's going on so I like those type of they're really more thrillers than horror I guess yeah yeah. but my least favorite ones are what you know Sharif mentioned earlier are like the fantasy matchups that people want to see, like Freddy vs. Jason, Alien vs. Predator. It's not because the movies were made. It's because there's no need for any other plot. Just get to the scene where they're actually fighting each other. Yeah. You know, like, like for example, Alien vs. Predator. There's a scene about, like, how the humans invaded this pyramid, and, like, no one gives a crap. <laughs> it's like, what do you freaking do? Just get to the freaking fight. I, just fight. Okay. I liked that part. <laughs> <laughs> and then Freddy vs. Jason, until Jason entered Freddy's dream, I, and his I, own dream, that, no one cared. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in the minority about Alien vs. Predator, because really? I found that movie to just be big, dumb fun. Yeah. No, um, that's the whole point. No, the movie itself, when you got to the point where they're actually fighting, was great, but the whole human aspect, it was so much better if they didn't exist. So... I mean, if they just kill him off one by really quick and there's no plot line involving this girl and the Predator becoming friends and it's like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Predators don't, don't make Dances friends. And, and you know, <laughs> she was, I was dancing with wolves. <laughs> I was talking to my dad about, because uh, he really liked Alien vs. Predator and we came out of it like, that movie wasn't very good, but I, I loved it. Yeah. He, was like, <laughs> okay. he was like, yeah, I loved it too. And I think what we put our finger on is the week before the movie we saw was so fucking bad that it like lowered our expectations to a <laughs> what was that? Uh, it was Doom starring Dwayne Rock Johnson. Oh. Hey, hey. Yep. I, I mean, there was one thing I liked, like, well, I was the FPS scene, but. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that was bad. Cool. We'll do it. <laughs> okay, so my answers. Favorite, and I know we said no funny, but this one actually. M- made me uneasy because of how it was allegorical but cabin in the woods uh mm. is that the what, that's which, that's the one that's with the, the cabin Reese's in the joss woods. whedon one is where that chris hemsworth oh, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah chris yeah i've, I've seen that one it's it's the writing joss whedon, whedon, yeah. whedon, whedon gets me um yeah. so yeah cabin yeah, in the woods favorite don't really have to uh, uh, expound on that at all I was I was really struggling with my least favorite though because I didn't know exactly what angle to take it. Like the Wicker Man remake, should I say that because that was fucking awful? I, I love it because it's because it's so ridiculous. Nick Dude. Cage has made one good, mo- two good movies in the last twenty years. He That's punches a Treasure. woman in a bear suit. Come I on, know. Like, I, know. I know, I know. National <laughs> Treasure and one and two are the only movies he made. That's good so, so far. They so wanted to take that seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Wicker Man remake was bad. But I, I almost didn't want to say that because it was it, it's expected, you know? Mm-hmm. So the Grudge. I didn't personally like The Grudge, mm-hmm. but, you know... Okay, so going a little bit more obscure, there's one that I've always... It's been on my top ten worst films of all time for forever. May? What? It's a horror flick with... Um, Anna Ferris. Really? And and no, and it's not it's not a comedy or it's anything. It's not a scary movie. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Um, and uh, it's about this girl that has really fucked up eyes. Like she she's got like a lazy eye or something, has to wear these stupid thick glasses and sh- she is really socially awkward and can't make friends, so she makes dolls instead. And then later she grows up and she can't make real social connections with people. She keeps, you know, pushing them away because she's so fucking weird. And so she kills them and takes their body parts and makes herself a doll out of all of the parts that she liked of people. And in the end, 
spoilers, but don't ever watch it because it's awful. <laughs> In the end, she's she's got the doll, but it's a doll. And she's like, why won't you love me? Look at me, look at me. And then has that moment of recognition. That's why you can't love me. Because you can't look at me because you can't see me because you don't have eyes. So, so she plucks out her own eye and puts it in the doll and then dies next to it. <laughs> it's bad. I'm just confused. <laughs> the thing is, I have always said that was a really bad movie, and I told some friends about it because we wanted to have like a bad horror movie night. Yeah. And I was like, guys, I got the best ones for you. We'll watch back to back Virtuosity and May. And my friends were like, okay, Virtuosity, that's a bad sci fi, not a bad horror. And it's still watchable, it's still kind of good. May, they, they argued, being horror buffs, that that was actually a decent movie. And I was like, oh, okay. So my, my final answer, <laughs> The Last Exorcism. Which, oh, Emily May? Or? No, no, no. It's, it's just called The Last Exorcism. Oh, okay. It's almost like a documentary. It's this priest that's, that, oh, that I'm, goes I'm around it doing fake exorcisms. He knows they're fake. He does it for money. And he's retiring. And he's going to do his very last one. And the... the it's based on a true story type of thing. No, no, no. no. I thought it was... No, no, no. Uh, there's, a, there's a conversation going on. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think of this movie that my friend, like, one of my roommates said it was the, like, she got really freaked out and it had Sam Neill and Lawrence Fishburne in it and it's based off in space. It's, um... Oh, the, the, oh, uh... What is that? Sam Neill and Lawrence Fishburne <laughs> in, in space. space! It sounds <laughs> awesome. It's, it's, it's the Jurassic <laughs> Matrix. Alright, anyway, uh... So the I think last, I, I think I know I, uh, what about. the last Event exorcism. Yeah, Event Horizon. That's what my 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 problem. My big my big issue with movies. Uh, if the ending sucks, like okay, when you're making something, you talked creative, about this uh, during the gaming episode. Yeah, when you when you make <laughs> when you make something creative, people remember the ending first, then the beginning, and then the middle in that order. If the ending sucks. You have a, an audience walking away thinking that the thing sucks. Yeah. And The Last Exorcism, the ending of it is awful. Just awful. And I would also, I, oh man. I, I just, would also like to point out, uh, I would like to say something to uh, everyone directing horror movies at Hollywood. Uh, don't do it. Be more creative. <laughs> yeah. Because... Uh, if I see one more little girl fucking possessed movie, <laughs> <laughs> you only need, you only need to make it once, and it was done in the seventies. It's called The Exorcist, and let it go. And okay? I don't even like The Exorcist. <laughs> and it's, I, I, and it's I'm a man horror without horror a fucking country because I'm a horror movie buff, and I don't like The Exorcist. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if I didn't like The Exorcist, don't try and I, I understand that movie's beloved, but stop trying to remake it. I heard Yo. I heard there was one decent one. I want to say, movie? yeah, I want to say it was called From Hell or something like that. Oh, from Sam Raimi. Drag me to hell. Drag me to hell. Sam yeah, Raimi. Yeah, yeah. Was uh, have any of you seen it? No. I it's it's this horror, first horror movie like for a long time since Evil Dead. But Drag I, Me to Hell was pretty good. But yeah, I, was, I, was I don't think it was like a little girl it's possession. It, it, movie. Yeah, it wasn't really a possession movie. Either. Oh, okay. The last good possession movie I think everyone talked about was uh, what was the, what was that real life type one? The the ex- ex- no, 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 no. They made like three movies now. It's you. You can't fucking name what it is. Yeah. Because they've made like four million. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's, the, it's the one that's low budget. It's based off like it's just like, home camera work, and it's like oh, uh, fucking paranormal, paranormal activity. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Pointed out. Last one of possession ones. Paranormal activity. Paranormal activity is so laughably bad. Oh, okay. Wait, no, no. Wait, wait. Everyone uh, loved rephrase, it. Rephrase. Rephrase. I have not seen the first. I have seen every sequel. Okay, just okay. Yeah, only watch and the first one. So bad. Um, so I, uh, bad. I was at a horror convention, uh, like a couple years before Paranormal Activity came out to the public, uh-huh. and that guy had already filmed the movie and was shopping it around there. So I got to see it, like a couple years before it came out with like its original ending. If you don't know, there's apparently like fifty fucking endings to that movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> and <laughs> what ending did you get? The clown came in. <laughs> 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 but I, I actually, I actually enjoyed it the first time I saw it. But I don't know what it was when it like got released in theaters. Uh, I, I think it was, it was an original concept when he first, sh- when I first saw it. Yeah, yeah. Because so cool. it was like, again, a couple years before Paranormal Activity actually came out in like mainstream theaters, mm-hmm. and was a fucking juggernaut at the box office. Yeah, yeah. it was. Um, and they said me too. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'd, I'd be remiss uh, if I didn't mention for my brother-in-law um, uh, the new daughter. Mm-hmm. Which, what is it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, what movie? Oh, okay. So the girl from Pan's Labyrinth, the the Spanish. Okay. It's her first like uh, English language film, mm-hmm. and I can't remember who the guy is. I think it's Kevin Costner. Oh, there you it go. It is so bad. It's, it is it is another uh, of a series of movies, uh, thank you Hollywood, where uh, you're literally watching the whole thing and then the aliens come. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like uh, All right. um, The I, Forgotten. I want you to tell the story about The Forgotten. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh my ass off. <laughs> yeah, we need to lighten okay. the mood here. All right, so, so I had this... Uh, uh, there was this girl that I was dating, and every single movie we went out to see in theaters, it's like she cursed me because they were all awful. Um, and we went and saw The Forgotten, and like 15 minutes into that film, uh, she it's Julianne Moore. She steps outside, and her car is missing. She, ha- she has an honest-to-God, dude-where's-my-car moment. <laughs> her car is gone, and she's freaking the fuck out. And it's it's me and my girlfriend and like three other people in the theater. And I went, I bet aliens took it. <laughs> <laughs> and then aliens took it. <laughs> so, to, so to put it into perspective, you're not really Scott. No more alien he movies. He hadn't seen the movie before. No, <laughs> made a joke comparing it to Dude, Where's My Car. <laughs> And then that's what happened. <laughs> and everyone must have thought you were the biggest asshole ever. <laughs> like you, you had seen it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Shattered dreams. I could, that moment. Not, I could not believe it <laughs> when the twist came and it was legitimately we're aliens and we're testing the strength of the maternal instinct. That is the plot of that movie. We it don't is, understand this maternal instinct thing. It is really fucking Hey, writers oh of that God. movie, what kind of acids were you using? Can I get some? <laughs> um, oh, shit. Anyway, it's my turn. I'm embarrassed for you, Hollywood. <laughs> um, we all are. <laughs> my favorite horror film, again, I had to choose something that actually scared me, so that took away, like, my top ten favorite horror films, actually. Because mm. my top ten favorite horror films don't actually really scare me. I right. love them, yeah, it's cool. but it's stuff like Evil Dead 2, Cabin in the Woods is on there, uh, Creep Show, Creep Show 2. <laughs> I'm one of the like four people who likes Creep Show. <laughs> um, so, Le- Leprechaun in the Hood. Because <laughs> I love ba- and not only do I love like campy movies, horror movies, I also love bad movies. Mm-hmm. So like so bad it's good. Um, but if I had to pick a film that actually legitimately like horrified me. It is the David Cronenberg remake of The Fly. Oh. Um, if, uh, it's, if anyone doesn't know the story, Jeff Goldblum invents a teleporter, essentially, that teleports matter. But when he gets in there, there's a fly in there with him. Oh, yeah. So the whole movie is him like slowly transforming into a half-human, half-fly creature, mm. but in like gross, disgusting detail. Mm. It's so unsettling. Mm-hmm. It's it's just a f- great film. It's yeah. Cronenberg. It's the one where like all the body parts like melt off, right? And yeah, his like, yeah. fingernails are popping off, and it's like it's like Tim Tim, Tim Allen's Santa Claus, only horror style, basically, right? Uh, no, 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 because he slowly turns into Santa Claus eventually, right? Yeah, but <laughs> you, you don't melt into That's Santa the Claus. That's the fucking comparison. I you don't melt into Santa Claus, though. All right, guys. I mean, guys. it's like this. It's like Santa, like Santa Claus. You get fat. You grow a beard. Cool. I'm but not the same. Things are like oh melting God. off. I've just, just, just come to the realization that Santa Claus is a parody of The Fly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Ho, ho, ho! Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> Plus, uh, you're bad. Have coal. No. If I had to pick Fuck. least favorite, uh, even the bad Hellraiser movies, I like. Mm-hmm. If anyone knows the Hellraiser series here, a little bit. In 2011, a picture was made by the studio that owned it to keep the rights to it. And if I'm, I remember correctly from the article, they made it in two weeks. 
It's called Hellraiser Re- Revelations. Mm. And they didn't get the original guy who plays Pinhead. Uh, Cl- they, they said from the mind of Clive Barker, but I put down this quote from him. I want to put on record that the flick out there using the Hellraiser is using the word Hellraiser is no fucking child of mine. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the fucking thing. If they claim it's from the mind of Clive Barker, it's a lie. It's not even from my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> but this movie, they had oh, two shit. weeks to make it, make it. So they made it like it's a found footage movie. <laughs> but there's a difference if you're like making a found footage movie because that's a cool concept and making a found footage movie because that's cheaper to make than a regular movie <laughs> um, it is all kinds of bad and to, like to hold the rights to it they had to have a theater an actual theater screening so they held they rented out a theater and showed it to mostly the cast and crew of the movie <laughs> Oh, in okay. one theater, and then put, and then the immediately put it out on DVD. Oh my god! And yeah, I think they held on. They held on to the rights to it that way. That movie is so bad. Um, uh, my original answer was Doom. <laughs> Does Doom count as a horror movie? I'll admit that's kind of why I changed. For a really it. long time, I thought Cenobites was a breakfast cereal. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I have a like honorable honorable mention though, uh, like a close second to like uh, favorite Candyman. Um, Candyman's the, good. The original yeah, Candyman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I could. I remember like who, seeing it. Who was actually able to say Candyman three times in the mirror? I was fucking scared, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was it fucking metal. Candyman I don't know or Bloody the, Mary? It's, well, it's both. Both, but like really? I was scared as hell I to say that. Like I, I, I think Pretty I remember smalls. like <laughs> I can't say. It. I think I remember like shaking in bed and like like after seeing it and being like, oh fuck, nah. <laughs> like it's That's funny. I don't think I don't think a horror movie has ever given me nightmares. The only thing that I've watched that ever gave me nightmares was an episode of the X Files. Yes, X-Files there was a, there was one episode. The guy who hibernates underneath the ele- escalator that that's like a two parter. That messed Flute me. Man, dude. <laughs> I just, Flute Man. Flute Man. I remember seeing there was an episode where there was some sort of like alien creature that only one person in this telemarketer's office could see and it was like teleporting across the office and then I fell asleep because that's the right place to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I mean I didn't I didn't get uh, nightmares but like I remember like not wanting to go to sleep. Right. Yeah. Like I made sure my I was, yeah. that's the ways I sleep on platform beds. I think I need a Um that, so we're gonna move crazy. on. Yeah, that's a to, real one. Uh, He's a real one. He's a real person. Favorite horror story or book or comic, whatever. Hmm. Just in in print, your favorite piece of horror. Uh, starting with Sean because he goes first. Man, my answer is gonna be pretty much your answer because you have the literal. No, yeah, that's, that's copy all of ours. I chose something else besides <laughs> that, so you could have that answer. Oh, okay. Dang it, Sean, I wanted that one. You can have it too. That's no, okay. No, this. Uh, you there. know what? We're actually all gonna talk about this. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's Sean's answer, but it would have been my answer. It would have been uh, Josh's answer. There's these books <laughs> that. As far as I know, you could find in any elementary school library when we yep. were kids. Do you still get it now? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The thing I is, don't know. I haven't been to an elementary <laughs> school in a while. <laughs> I, I've, read, though, I've read, though, I've read on the internet, though, that, like, they still, ha- they re-released the books, but they changed the pictures on them. Because okay, I love this that's picture. fucking bullshit. That, yeah, that's Kids terrifying. need to be terrified. <laughs> yeah. uh, you just need the spider coming out of It's the a eye trilogy of books. Oh, I, I found a collection recently that has all the original drawings. Uh, scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Scary Stories 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones. Uh, the, stories the stories in them... But the classics. A few, there's, a few, there's a few good ones, but they're all basically kind of like the classic s- scary story mm-hmm. tropes, just so kids know them. But the artwork in this book is, is probably the most terrifying yeah. artwork 
ever. Have you seen these? And like, I'm gonna yeah, let's so open up scary. the front. Ages like, nine I, and up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was scared, but I was scared just because the pictures. Really ages really nine and up, except all of these look like. If I can find yeah, some of the actual so artwork from this book, I will post it nine year old kids uh, on the video while yeah. we're talking about it. Yeah, this it, 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 it look, there's a head that's it's, chopped it's, off. It's, I don't like this. It's so creepy ink blot drawings. I mean, I, this is the picture it, I remember the most, and I actually put it on the. Is cover. that the spider one? Yeah, it's not the spider one. It's, oh. well, I don't know what this is, but I remember, like, great. I can't sleep with that picture now tonight. Still frightens me. It's really weird because I remember in elementary school, like all the tough kids would get this book, right? You know, so you can buy, yeah, yeah. Like I, I wasn't a tough kid. I was my, a tiny little skinny kid. I never got this books. book. I tried taking this book out of the library one time, and I never did it again. I don't remember any stories in this. Maybe one or two. Maybe one pictures. or two stories. But I can remember all these pictures just because of how yeah, okay. traumatizing these things one are. One of the it's ones just... I saw. One of the ones I saw in there when Alan just flipped through it real quick was one I remember reading vividly as a kid. It was the it was the high beam one, the one with the the, the car following this lady who's driving. Yeah, that's like a classic okay. urban and legend. There's, there's nothing there's scary about girl. the lady. It's a normal lady, but the face they drew on her is like you know, like, like you know, with this frightening look. That just stuck in my mind forever. I can that, every time I read know that story, that's all I think about is that. There, that there's specific. one in here that I remember about. It messes with me so much. There was this one that I remember about these teens who go to like a school dance, and then after the school dance, they think it'd be fun to go to like a cemetery. And is it the hook? No, uh, no, the, the girl who stabs the, the, the girl who the stabs ground? the knife. It's a girl who stabs a knife in the ground, right? Okay. And it's just like oh, you need shit, to stab this knife in the there. ground. Okay. And you know, like it's supposed to be one of those how bloody, like the you know, like the. Uh, it's if you stab a knife into the ground and like, like someone's supposed to grab you, like someone's supposed, supposed to, grab to grab you, and uh, everyone does it, and it's just like oh, no, she, I'm she's the only one brave enough to do it, and she stabs the knife. Oh, someone's gonna grab you off the ground. And she starts to move, and she feels a tug. Yep. And she just dies of fright. Yep. Not realizing she stabbed the knife into her own dress. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this can't move. But the oh. pic, like... It wasn't really a horror, it was more like, whoops. And just the picture, and if I can remember... Yeah, this picture. This picture always <coughs> oh, weird. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that! Yeah. Look at that thing! Yeah. Look at that thing! Yeah. Now I can't yeah. sleep okay. now! Okay, <laughs> these pictures remind me of a question I wanted to ask. I do remember these names. Who the hell is this Rorschach guy, and why does he keep going around <laughs> painting black and white pictures of my parents fighting? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> hey, lighten the mood, okay? And, like, and, love you. and it's really weird because this. I can't, I can't keep that book around in my house. If I ever had the one, pictures in this book. It's still frightening like, to me to this day. Really? Still I just see like, pictures still, of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but just a. Because the. the Rorschach the, the, guy's a pervert. The <laughs> impact that these pictures had on me as a kid. If you actually drop me off at my old elementary school, I can show you exactly where that book is right now. I can tell you what shelf it's on, what part of the library it's in. It's still there? It's just, it's, if it's still there, either, you know, props to the elementary school for keeping it, or they probably They had the toss. The I mean, like, that's... Yeah. There's no way in today's world they can have a book like that mm -hmm. in a children's thing. I mean... Yeah, that's the one. That girl's face messed with okay, me forever. Okay, we're gonna move on. Because we're just looking through a book and talking about things <laughs> people can't actually <laughs> see. Yeah. I was gonna say one of one of my uh, the, the the my favorite story. I have this written down on my page. Is the uh, is up oh, here? It is I think the hook. No, no, that's not it. It's it's the uh, the one where the uh, the kid goes to on a trip to Mexico and gets a dog and then comes back. Okay, and takes someone else that. someone oh. else bring up their story. I, I got a, I got um, another one, but it's not it's the dog. Okay, cool. It's cool. I got another one. Sewer yeah. yeah. So, okay. Also, do the least favorite if you got sewer. one. All right. There was um. There was a creepy pasta that our friend Sean Busmus. We're gonna sent get us. to creepy pasta cool. later. Well then, oh, next oh, person wait, 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 go. What, what, what's your topic? It's be... what's, what's the topic? Uh, story. Book. Story. Print. Fear Street. Oh, okay. I used to Fear Street a lot. Who's Bumps? What's Fear Street? <laughs> it's RL. Okay. It's RL stuff. Oh, when yeah, I was yeah, yeah. hit when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I actually I wrote Goosebumps down too. My my favorite quote horror books were were Goosebumps. I actually put them as my my best and worst because. Some of them were not very scary and kind of contrived, but my two favorites were uh, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, mm. uh, which was just, you know, that's classic because it's like the fifth book. And there was this one, and this is just because I'm a gamer, The Beast from the East. That one was fucking cool because the the whole plot is that these kids stumble into this game that going. these monsters in the forest <clears throat> are playing and they have to learn the rules of the game or die. Yeah, I remember Is this that Jumanji? One. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. I actually had Monster one of, Jumanji. I actually had a Goosebumps book like that. It was like a Find Your Own Adventures book. I don't remember what it's yeah. called, but like one half of the book, like you had to choose either truth or dare, right? And if you chose truth, the babysitter who was taking care of you and your little brother would like take you on this really weird journey and the other one was dare and it was the whole like Flip a coin. If its heads turn here, if its tails turn here, 
And yeah, you die a lot in that book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get, get, get yourself goosebumps books. I have a few of them. So <laughs> are brutal. Yeah, are you are you asking questions just just for reading material? Or are you talking about like TV shows as well? Just um, anything, any material. Anything or I, uh, this is specifically in print. Okay, okay. Mm. I have TV shows that Sorry. mess me up, but okay, I'll go with print for right now then. Um. Oh, well, I had it in my head now. I was thinking of the TV show. You can go ahead, Marcus. <laughs> I don't really have a print. Goosebumps. Uh, no, no, no. Like. Other ones. It's like, no, I, 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 I got it now. I got it now. It was um, my favorite ones. It's like it was actually even before these the, the scary story books. It was actually it's for children. It's actually a scary story for children. I don't know how that worked out. It was a book my sister had. What's that? Splooge. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> man. It, 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 it was a ghost. A ghost got in here. I got a ghost. <laughs> no. Um. What happened was um. Um. It was one th- one of the stories I've ever really remember because the animation in the book was in color. But it was kind of creepy, even for little kids. It's not, yeah, not like, not like that. It was like, right. One of the stories is like, is 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 the one like this guy walks down the street, he sees this guy with a one inch teeth. Then he's like, he's like, oh, he runs away. Then he runs, then he runs to the other part of teeth. He goes, dude, I just saw this guy with one inch teeth. He goes, is it big as this? This guy with two inch teeth, you know. And then he goes, he runs away. Ah. And then he finds another one. He's like, dude, man, I saw a guy with two inch teeth. It's like, is it, is it as tall as this? And then these pictures, they keep showing is this guy's teeth. It's like his mouth is like becomes an anime character at this point. And it's just like, <laughs> and it's but it's drawn in a really freakish kind of weird manner, like a devilish I don't smile. Know what you're about. Yeah, I, don't I know read what, that as a kid too. And I was like, it's like these are all my sister's books. I don't know. I think she's messed up. So <laughs> <laughs> story with the girl with the ribbon in her neck, right? Yeah, because she was actually headless. Drowned the whole world. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you got the whole world. The ribbon in her neck and the guy. Oh, yeah. the, with the red jacket. Right. Yeah. 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 The, the ribbon. Don't they have those stories in that book, too? Why don't you always have that ribbon? Yeah. yeah. Stick it off and have to fall I think off. so. Yeah. Same yeah. Same I, 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 th- I think I read the ribbon story in the Scary Stories to Tell yeah. in the Dark book. Right. But this, this is like a much older version of okay. that one. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, this is like when I was in grade school. Gotcha. Yeah, I was in grade school. Um, my. Oh, my. My, oh, my. Hang on. Let me get my answer out of the way first. Okay. Uh, mine are both comics. <laughs> Because yeah. I, I'm, I'm a dork. Um, <laughs> it's okay. My favorite, and I can't pick one specifically, is the old EC horror comics, oh, which yeah. are like Tales from the Crypt, The Haunt mm. of Fear, um, classics. Yeah. yeah, just really, really twisted stories. Really, really great <laughs> artwork. <right> hosts. <laughs> and again, if you ever seen the movie Creep Show, mm-hmm. or of course the TV show Tales from the Crypt, those are good like extensions of that. They're okay. like. Uh, my least favorite. This one received a lot of critical acclaim. They made a movie of it, and I was like, "Why did you make a movie of that shitty boy. comic?" Oh. It's a graphic novel, actually, uh, called Thirty Days of Night." Oh, oh. I've seen the movie. Is that the, um, is that the vampire one, or? Yes, it's about like you know there is a, in Alaska. That's not a good start. Um, <laughs> in Alaska, you know they have like. Yeah, the, eternal nighttime during wintertime, yeah. During wintertime, it's eternal nighttime. So vampires, a group of vampires think, why don't we just go there and feed for a month? Sounds like a good plan. Sounds smart. Uh, that we've sounds had a good economy. Because that sounds... <laughs> That's economical. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good concept. Right. I would have liked to see it executed better. The artwork is really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, the ending is... One of the guys is like, I'm going to be a vampire and then beat all the other vampires with the vampire powers. So we're going blade on here. (laughs) So he makes himself a vampire and then vampires all the other vampires with his vampires. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, dog. The end. (laughs) Vampire inception. And it really, to, to, to take something Brad did, uh, it's like, Okay, we have a great concept. We have to end it now. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Or something. Weren't those the vampires that they used in Deadliest Warriors for their ho- like Halloween special? Did you see that? Is it was it the same vibe? I think so. I so think it was vampire versus zombies. I yeah, know, and so. I think it was I think it was the Three Days of Night whatever mm. vampires against. I played a couple scenes, just a couple scenes. Yeah, yeah like okay, about so. just about what vampires are. Yeah. Yeah. So the was vampires the movie really close to the? I didn't watch the, the movie because uh, I didn't like the graphic novel. So why watch the movie? Uh, I don't know. I was just asking. Um, Brad just handed me something. 
You want me to explain what it is? Yes, please explain before okay. I do this. So Alan was talking about horror comics, and I remembered, and I pulled this up earlier. It's a web comic that's online. It's a Korean made web comic that is not just a web comic, and I'm right. having Alan read it. Um, it's called Bong Chon Dong Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it seriously now. <laughs> Say that again. One more time. <laughs> I'm not Korean, <laughs> but I believe it's Bong Chon Dong. <laughs> Bong Chon <Ghost>. Dong <laughs> Ghost. Is this a Korean porn or is it a horror? Bong Chon Dong. <laughs> no. Fifteen Bong Chon Dong the Ghost. Night. <laughs> and Alan's going to tell me if it works on mobile because he's reading it off of my phone. It's about an Asian penis but coast. Like, it's really hot. No, it's. it's, it's <laughs> does, it yeah. come, does it come from your chest? Does it work? <laughs> No, I skip. I've been scrolling up and down for a bit. Nothing's moving. Yeah. Okay. It has, um, has probably HTML type of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool web comic that is you essentially scroll down to read it. Uh, when you, when it's on a computer, when you scroll down, certain things will start moving in the comic. So it'll be like a normally animated still frame. I, I'm excited to see it. Uh, it wasn't really working for me while I was just looking at it just now. But uh, it sounds like a really cool concept. Yeah, it, it scared the piss out of me the first time I watched it. Really? Um, oh, for sure. Yeah. So the, so I thought the, it was just a comic. So the, so the title of it is pretty de yeah. deceiving then. I, th I don't know. I, you know, now that you like explained it to me, I don't know if it would get me. I think oh, if maybe. you had just like sent it to me and said, hey, read this comic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah now, you're hyping, now, you're, now you're hyping it up. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's our print horror. Uh, let's do favorite horror game. Sweet. Favorite and least oh, favorite. like Bloody Mary and that kind of stuff? This. No, I mean like video game. Oh. I've never played horror video games. I've seen a movie based off a of video game. You mean like Resident Evil? Uh, no, <laughs> Silent Hill. I heard Silent Hill was a very scary video game. Yes, it was. I couldn't finish it. But Sean um, needs to answer first. Yes, Sean. Oh, sorry, Sean. Is anything moving? No. Okay. Is That's it still scary, said. though? Is it's, it, it's it's kind of kind of creepy. Well, the thing is, like, it's like frame by frame, like they get closer and closer and closer. Yeah. Oh, so it's not really do the animation. Oh my part. gosh, jeez. But nothing's moving. No. That sucks. Just off topic. Man. I mean, just off tangent, real quick. You know, my favorite thing on the internet was the classic. What's wrong with what's the what's different about this room? And then oh yeah, the jumpers. Yeah. And then, like, oh, and then, then the classic. Um. <laughs> oh, so no. favorite horror game. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> I don't play. Yeah, I usually don't play horror games either. Yeah, me neither. But I can name. But it's um, a really good episode, you guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, terrific episode. <laughs> Sketch all But uh, so, there was this. Um, I watched you play this game a couple of times, and as um, I think it was it was Dead Space. Yeah. That's what we did was we just YouTube Dead Space. No, no, no. Death like we, we watched. We play, I watched Alan play Dead Space, and um, we took out the music and put in like Mike Patton music. Oh yeah. <laughs> and okay. I was just like, and here's a cool thing. Like Mike Patton music was like awesome, but if you do that, in a, if you put that music in a horror game, it's just like okay. The stuff I'm gonna, I'm gonna the voice. for those of you who are fans of survival horror video games or horror video games in general, I'm gonna recommend an album for you to play to play while you're playing. Yo, dog, I heard you like playing, so here's an album so you can play while you play. Um, <laughs> Delirium Cordia by the Phantomas. Uh, Phantomas are a, a Mike Patton sa s side project. Now, that album was originally packaged with a picture book uh, because the theme of the album, uh, as it progresses, is uh, surgery with no anesthesia. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Yeah! <laughs> that makes for some fun gaming. And, and the stuff that Mike Patton can do with his voice, like, I have no idea how he could do it, so but it like, sounds it, amazing. Is it, like, is, it, is it like trying to play a game with Vincent Price talking in the background or something like that? It, or? It's trying to play a game with uh, Vincent Price while, slowly licking your ear. <laughs> God. While living inside of Vincent Price. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Do you have a least favorite horror game? <sighs> um, I don't know. Like, I think it's my least favorite because I can't really like play it. I watch other people play it. I, I I watch other people play video games all the time, but uh, 
want to say slender because slender man. I haven't <laughs> got like when I see people play or you know when I tell people where to go when I play like we don't get very far. I've only found like one page out of. Whatever. Is that the entire game? Just eight pages? Is it eight pages? Uh, Six pages? It's eight pages. But that's but the entire game. There's a sequel where the eight pages is part of the game, but it's an actual full length game called okay. Slender: The Arrival that mm-hmm. I'm playing right now. Oh, okay. Mm. But apparently, okay, it's the reason yeah. I can't take it. It's, it's, it's a huge graphical right. upgrade. It's, it's Well, the original you know, game, I, couldn't, I never that, heard of it until Conan started it's, it's not, doing it. So. It's not that Slender Man is scary. Far from that. It's just that <laughs> when they present him, just... Just a stick figure. Like, yeah, just when they present him, it's just with the music and everything. It's just like There's a big, music? like... Yeah, like at first you, you start walking in the dark. There's nothing going on. Right. You know, you hear your footsteps. You hear crickets. You know, yeah, okay. that kind of stuff. The, the and then thing about the original up, Slender... Uh, it was a horror phenomenon that took the internet by storm. What was it? I never even heard of it. So. Um, but it was the original Slender is free, and it was made by like two people. <laughs> that explains the review. I saw. Slender: The Arrival was after Slender got really popular. They they had an actual team working on it, and it's it's good. Okay. Mm-hmm. But no, like when he showed up though. If your like, death is just like just like stats. it's just you, like, you just, just hear like a big like even though if like you can barely see him. You hear just like a big like boom! It makes your heart just like jump. Oh, okay. so yeah. it's like paranormal it's, activity. The, the, type sa- of thing. the sound design of the game is okay. So it's, is it's like really, paranormal really activity, good. just like yeah. random boom, like what's going on? Yeah, and it's not and it's not like I don't know if it's like that, but like if he gets closer, does it get louder? Because I just think it gets like the same. Um, it's it, it's kind of random. It can can get louder sometimes. It's yeah, it's yeah, really it's just play it. Okay, uh, I play my horror games in the dark, headphones loud as they go. <laughs> there you go. There's I, no heart attack involved with that one. There's I, a bucket of excrement under my desk. I, <laughs> there's a hole in my seat right now just with a bucket underneath. Uh, I have a bedpan underneath me. Ma'am! <laughs> bathroom! Mom, bathroom, mom! <laughs> Silence! I've hypnotized what Alan. What are you what looking the at? What are you showing me? <laughs> damn jump scare. I'm gonna punch no, you no it's not. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen what, what is it? What is it? Are you sure? Are you messing with them? Dude, I don't know dude. what the fuck. Okay, so what happens is, um, what is it? there is a woman, this gift that Brad's showing us, and she turns on a light, and there's a shadowy figure there. But, you know, there's no, there's no sh- body or anything, it's just a shadow, right? Right. Turn off the lights. Turn back on the lights. Oh, it's just a shadow, there. it's like a vignette yep. thing? Turn off the lights. Turn the light back on. Shadow's still there. Turn off the lights. Next time she turns the lights on, the shadow's like hiding. Like you can see it move, hide behind oh, the Oh, yeah. that's freaky though. So. Was it a, was it a oh, prank okay. or was that? I have no idea. You gonna watch it now? Yeah, I'll, probably, watch, I'll watch it now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably <laughs> a hoax. What are you showing me? Is, is it right. a, is was, it, was it a hoax? Just like well, a prank or something? Or? No, no, it's just a creepy it's gif. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's a, it was cross posted on No Sleep. Um, like so while he watches, I'll answer my favorite game because I wrote this down, but I was hoping there would be a bit, little bit more uh, uh, leniency. Uh, I my favorite horror game is Betrayal oh, of the House shit. on the Hill. So was, uh, was that like a, a Japanese horror type of thing? Uh, you know? So it was real? I don't know. Oh, we don't no, know. It's, it's not real. It's, oh. it's, it's, it's someone messing oh, with somebody. Ta- is tabletops? Was it tabletop? Was yeah, it I, I don't, yeah. Betrayal at the House on the Hill is a tabletop game. Uh, it's it's my favorite horror game. But if I had to pick a video game specifically, Diablo three, just because I like Diablo, hmm. I like the whole Diablo series. Yeah. Um, I didn't I didn't think uh, about tabletop. That was very dark. Yeah. It was at a weird point in my life when I started playing that one. You were like, it was very fuck dark. these. Yeah. I'm not big into like horror video games as much, truth. But I, I kind of started playing one early because my body let me borrow it, and I never finished it. But everyone tells me I got to finish this game. It's, it's Last of Us. Ah, I was thinking yeah. about that. I actually just beat that. It's not. I heard the story. I heard the story. Horror was, game. But I heard the story is amazing. So it's I'm really great, into. I'm really into great, games. Great horror. It's it's yeah. a great uh, story. Yeah, that's the rest of the reason I'm into ga- games, but more about story. Yeah. Like I don't care about survival horror as much as because it's just basically shock factor. Now. I did hear about this game, you sh- first person shooter. You should play in the dark with headphones on. That's Doom Three, so yeah, yeah. that's a lot of jump scares. Yeah, that's like that because like it's one of those they made it so when you clear a room, you go back in, the room's not clear, and they jump out differently. So that's that's kind of how it works out. Mm. So. Um, my my least favorite game is called Eleventh Hour. It was this nineteen ninety mid nineties. It was like a horror version of Mist. <laughs> and my brother had it. I played through it. It was like this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Is it? Is it? Am I the only one? You I, I don't have any. Oh, okay. I, I don't play enough horror um, games. My favorite horror game. Force Unleashed Two. And I am kicking myself for not mentioning this during the gaming podcast. 
because it's one of my favorite video games of all time. Uh, Silent Hill 2. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about story, man. That game... Uh, <laughs> Not the oh, movie, just the game. <laughs> yeah, that, the game. Really I, scary too. The yeah. first Silent Hill That's movie right. was just okay. second one was, uh, was better, I think. Yeah. I haven't seen the second one. Silent Hill 2, the game, amazing. I'm not going to spoil anything, because that's that's a story you have to experience. Uh, if you've ever seen the film Jacob's Ladder... Yeah, I do um, Good lord. Let's not talk about that one. That Silent <laughs> that Hill... That messed me up as a kid. first three Silent Hill games kind of borrowed like uh, the tone of those films. Tim Robbins. <laughs> um, my least favorite horror games, and I've kind of picked them... Because they are series that started out being kind of horror games and just removed all aspect of horror. So I'm going to pick uh, Dead Space 3 and Resident Evil 6. Yeah. Hmm. It's, just, it's, uh, just, it's just franchising at this point. So it's not, even, it's not even that it's franchising. They're not horror games anymore. They're, they're action, action adventure games. They're action adventure games. Hmm. Uh, and they're not scary. Uh, Dead Space 3 is all about, like, Again, jump scares is the term. Is Dead Space three like infinite ammo this time now? Like because original Dead Space is like you have very limited ammo. You have to work with what you. It's got. not even that. It's, um, <clears throat> just wasn't it's scary. It's just not horror anymore. Okay. Yeah. It's it's mass kill. Go for it. Yeah. No, it, you have to go to like the indies as far as gaming goes to find real horror games. Right. Like yeah, again, sure. Slender: The Arrival, Amnesia, Outlast, <laughs> Outlast, Outlast is pretty good. Um. Yeah, but uh, fuck them games. I know, we were, I know we were just talking about games, but um, just thought about this movie. Uh, what movie? Uh, what is it? Uh, it's pretty recent. They just made the they just made the uh, sequel. Um, and the guy who played the Owl Man in uh, Watchmen, uh, or uh, well, yeah, who was the Owl I, guy? Who are you in talking Watchmen? about? I know who you're talking. What, what's the movie you're talking? About? I'm, I'm trying Insidious? to say the name. Insidious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, were those? Was that a good movie? Was uh, like? Insidious was really scary. Like was that? Me too. Uh, we're not. We're talking about gaming, right? I know. I'm we asking about it. It's like I know <laughs> we're talking about gaming. But I want to move to a movie real quick. I, I wanted to ask about okay. that, that. I don't movie. know about yeah, Insidious, but Hard Candy was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard Hard Candy. I've seen it. We never heard. I, of that. I, I have never seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Um, it's scary. So. Is, is everyone answered? Yeah, Are you all good? Right. Yeah. Uh, favorite creepy pasta slash internet horror? <laughs> huh? Pasta? Cre- creepy pasta is, is an. So they're like they're like scary internet stories that you read. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, really creepy bad. internet yes. horror. Um, okay, just stories. I swear right? to God, if any of you take mine. Well, then you go first. <laughs> yeah, go first. Sean, Sean, Sean has to go first. first. Right. Sean Watch. goes first, and then so no one takes his. We're going to Brad. <laughs> we make these rules for a reason. <laughs> All right, Sean. Okay, but um, he's gonna say it. <laughs> was it the one that Bus sent you? About the woman going into the like clinic, killing everyone. No. Nope. Okay, okay, cool. Fine. All right, so there was a creepy pasta, and it came. Is this with your favorite or your least creepy favorite? pasta? This is my favorite. Okay. Uh, so uh, it was a story about how this really, really creepy looking, like, made up plastic surgery looking woman came in this ward, right, or something, right, and everyone thought, oh, she's on drugs or something like that, we gotta help her, so they, like, tried, they, like, put her down, right, into, like, a chair, and they tried to, like, help her out, but, you know, needles weren't going in, or, like, you know, medicine wasn't working, and so eventually she would just, like, slowly look at the doctors who were, like, trying to help her out, like, smile, and her teeth would, like, razor sharp. And she would just, like, destroy everybody, right? Like, rip their faces off and, like, kill them. And she left one survivor, right? And she was, like, on her way walking out the door. And she didn't say a word this entire time. And the survivor just goes, who are you? Like, why did you do this? Why, 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 is this, why have you done this? And she slowly turns around, looks him in dead in the eye, and just goes, I am God. And then he walks away. This is a this is like a true story. No, there's a fix. It's a oh. it's a fake story, but it's oh. one of those like you read it on the internet oh, okay. and. I have a true story. Just a fan fiction type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Okay. That's but... crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she, the, tr- the truth my, is, she was a ghost the whole time. That's a my, my least. <laughs> ignore. I just said anything. If you could hear that. Okay. 
My least favorite creepy pasta was um creepy pasta. I just can't. It's called creepy pasta. Yeah, I have. We have a friend named Daniel Austin. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Oh, can we edit that out? Okay. We have a friend. <laughs> Wait, silence. Okay, my least favorite scary story, uh, creepypasta, is um, we have a friend, and uh, he's really big into Spongebob, right? And so he sent me this creepypasta, uh, and it was about Squidward, right? And apparently what happened was uh, there was an intern working at Nickelodeon Studios at the time, and they said, oh, hey, I found a random video inside one of the editing rooms, right? Uh, maybe it could be the new episode. Maybe it could be an old episode that we could record over. I don't know, but we need to watch it to make sure, you know, everything's cool. So they put it in the VCR. And uh, like a normal episode of SpongeBob, Squidward is, you know, on stage playing his clarinet or something. And everyone's, like, booing him and, like, yelling at him, you know. You're awful. This is terrible. And Squidward goes into like a deep depression. There are like flash jumps or flash cuts of, you know, close ups of Squidward with his eyes being all bloodshot and like blood dripping out of his sockets and everything. And I guess it's pretty much, um, at the very end of it, I guess he shoots himself with a shotgun. But <laughs> not, not like, these are like, Shit. <laughs> these are like terrible, terrible jump cuts too. Cause that'd be like of him, like, you know, of him, blood coming out of eye blood coming out of his eyes, bloodshot eyes, and then it'd be like a jump cut of like a dead body, and then it'd be like a jump cut of like starving kids and stuff like that. Like it was just so this random a, jump cuts uh, of terrifying things, right. and then at the very end, graphic shot of Squidward blowing his brains out with a shotgun. So yeah. at which and point so, did Squidward oh, write shoot. in Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> No, but then, um... So this is, this, this is like a real story? No, they, these are all fake. Oh, okay, alright, okay. I can't yeah. tell. Creepy, pastas are stories posted online, like, horror stories written and posted online. Uh, fictional, but almost kind of presented as fact. Oh, okay, okay. Um... And anyone else gonna do internet horror? I don't have one. Yeah. The one. very end of that story, though, like they threw the tape away, so no one's ever seen it. So okay. only that one guy or team or whatever. Now Z messed up for life. I guess. <laughs> that's your worst one. <laughs> well, there's the Pokemon Lavender Town one too. Okay, it's well, we'll not we'll worse. Skip. But that's oh, just yeah. We'll one. skip that. Yeah, yeah, but, okay, okay, go ahead. My favorite and the scariest shit, and it freaked me out. Ben's game. Oh yeah, it's this. It's a story about this kid who found a used copy of Majora's Mask at a garage sale, and the story reads like diary entries. And it comes at a certain point. The guy's like, "Okay, no, nobody's gonna believe this." So I started taking video shots of this game that I'm playing because it's not right. Something's wrong with it, and like. There's this creepy little statue that's following me around everywhere, and, and yeah, oh god, it's great. I just highly recommend going, googling Ben's game and reading it. It is Do you recommend awesome. googling the one I've picked? I think I might just read the whole goddamn thing. Nice. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this one. Uh, I only got into it a couple months ago. Uh, Candle Cove? No. Is it like Candle Jack? No. <laughs> also, I'm going to need more rope. <laughs> also, don't say that. <laughs> Why? It's not like it's not like he's gonna come over and just go. Are we all right? What? What just happened? What just happened? Where, Where we go? <laughs> My butt hurts. Oh my god. <laughs> um, a, a big Code. So I'm actually just gonna read this. How long is it? It's it's a forum. It's a series of posts on a forum. Okay. Uh, does anyone remember this kid's show? It was called Candle Cove, and I must have been six or seven. I never found reference to it anywhere, so I think it was on a local station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Ironton at the time. I don't remember which station, but I do remember it was on at a weird time, like 4 p.m. Someone responded, It seems really familiar to me. I grew up outside of Ashland, and I was nine years old in 72. Was it about pirates? I remember a pirate marionette at the mouth of a cave talking to a little girl. So these forum posts keep going on, and it's like people like remembering things about this TV show, Candle Cove, 
they're like, oh, yeah, I remember that show, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to cut to the last few posts. Um, uh, they, they remember there was a villain who was like a skeleton. Um, I'm so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. I used to have this awful memory, a bad dream I had, where the opening jingle ended. The show faded in from black, and all the characters were there, but the camera was just cutting each of their faces, and they were just screaming. And the puppets and marionettes were falling, flailing spastically and just all screaming, screaming. The little girl was just moaning and crying like she'd been through hours of this. I woke up many times for that nightmare. I used to wet the bed when I had it. Someone responds, I don't think that was a dream. I don't remember that. I remember that was an episode. Someone responds, no, 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 not possible. There was no plot or anything. I mean, literally just standing in place crying and screaming for the whole show. Another person responds, maybe I'm manufacturing the memory because you said that, but I swear to God I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Someone else responds, oh God, yes, the little girl Janice. I remember seeing her shake. And the skin taker screaming through his gnashing teeth, his jaw careening so wildly I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I turned it off, and it was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother, and we didn't have the courage to turn it back on. So here's the last response where you go, holy fucking shit. I visited my mom today at the nursing home. I asked her about when I was little in the early 70s, when I was 8 or 9, if she remembered a kid's show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could remember that, and I asked why. And she said, because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm going to go watch Candle Cove now, Mom. Then you would tune the TV to static and just watch Dead Air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with your little pirate show. Oh. So these all people Shit. were remembering a TV show where a bunch of fucking graphic, horrifying things happened. That didn't exist. That didn't exist. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. Crazy. That is crazy. That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> um, I approve. And the awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're all there creeped out. There was like out. a news saying that these kids killed a 12 year old because of creepy pasta. Because of. The, uh, is it creepy pasta? Slenderman. Someone, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they stabbed man. her multiple times. I think she lived, though. No, yeah. she, she, she lived? I yeah, she lived. She I'm just going to point it out there that uh, I have watched every Slenderman YouTube series. I read everything about Slenderman. Never once stabbed a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Never yeah, once stabbed anybody. Yeah, but they. That's, took it, that, like, that was an excuse. That was yeah. an excuse. That was a 12-year-old that wanted to stab someone yeah. that had the excuse just to like, watch the scary thing. Just, well, like, it's, it's like, it, uh, just like video games make people shoot up schools. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. The only reason I shoot up schools because they don't have guns. <laughs> people make fun of them all. You know, I got compared to that. Um, yeah, so my least favorite things. internet slash creepypasta sort of thing is just an internet thing. Uh, screamer videos in general. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, screamer videos? Just videos. Just, just pop. Yeah, just right. pop out right. with, like, a screamer face. Things. Oh, oh, oh screamer you, I mean, like, like, you, you, like that classic I'll talk about, like, what's yeah. wrong with this what's room? Wrong with the room? Yeah. Like that thing. Yeah. yeah. You stare at it for, like, 30 minutes and it finally screams at you. So. Yeah. I, my, my least favorite one of those in particular was there was this one that was like, oh, it's some sort of car commercial. Oh, yeah. And you see this car oh, driving yeah. along in the background. And the it's, it's how the screamer comes into the screen. Because it's like this corpse that like shakes as it kind of comes into the screen. <laughs> yeah. Like. Did you know that like, Griffin showed that to us? Oh yeah, I remember Griffin. that. We had a band teacher who showed that to us, <laughs> <laughs> and it what? scared all the kids. Was that a projector screen for everyone? Yeah, if I remember correctly. That was a commercial for an energy drink. It was. It was. It the was car? like. A, was a surge. There was. No, was there a was a car. car. No, it's like you're it's talking like, about the car coming down the hill, huh? and then the woman in like the green pops yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a commercial. That's a real yes, commercial. That's a real commercial. That's a real commercial, yeah. yep. That's a real commercial. Okay, I'm glad I never saw it. Fuck you, Holly. There was actually another one of those, too, where it was a guy about to do, like, a golf swing at the driving range, right? So it was, like, two minutes of him, like, prepping up. And then finally when he gets to the swing, like, right before he hits his peak, like, another thing pops up, right? I think it's for the same company, because the, the makeup looks very similar. Well, right? I got your attention. Well, I, do, I do have to say, there was there was a commercial that they made one time that was for a car <laughs> that had Just a... Like, uh, <laughs> Because, like, the version I've seen, it, like, shows, like, the energy drink. And I'm like, hi, thing I'm never buying. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the energy drink one. Like, I I mean, I knew it was a car one, but, like, they didn't say, hey, buy this energy drink out Well, here. I think they just cut it. Hmm. You know what? We know the scariest commercial I ever saw in my life. The Burger King commercials with the Burger King. <laughs> God, I hate that thing. I saw, I saw a commercial one creepy. time. I don't know if it was real or not, but it was about a remote sunroof. 
and there was a car just sitting in the driveway, and this cat jumped up on the car, and then it peeked its head in through the sunroof. Yes, cut it off, right? And then the, the sunroof closes, and it decapitates the cat. It's, it was fake, it was fake, but yeah. And yeah, I that saw, was the thing, was that was supposed to be, Holy I think shit. it was supposed to be, like, it's a Super Bowl disturbing or something. I thought that was the funniest shit. <laughs> it was, by the way. It was I laughed host, way. my um, ass off. You jerk. All right. <laughs> Not gonna do a least favorite. Uh, just favorite urban legend, like Paul Bunyan. <laughs> no, that's that's a tall tale. <laughs> oh, okay. like, like creepy urban, like legends. Candyman or like Bloody real Mary. Ones or? It's just favorite. The one I've picked is real. Uh, the the two I have written down are both real. Okay, Sean. Oh gosh! Nope. No, nope. Sean, turn up. You there's, there's son no, of a bitch. No volume. I don't care. None of us are watching. None of us. I like how everyone's seeing. closed your eyes. I gotta go to sleep tonight, talking, man. We were just talking about how we don't like streamers. <laughs> Have you ever seen a thing online where you're trying to? We sound like a bunch of pussies on this podcast. <laughs> Well, I gotta go to bed and go to work tomorrow. <laughs> what, what are we saying? Where you try to go through this maze and it says, please, if you try not to touch the sides or something will happen, and once you touch the side, it's like the picture of the, the, scream. girl, the screamer thing. Yeah. Just okay. yeah. No more screamers. Fuck. I'm getting all these bad images in my head. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's our next uh, topic? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll tag someone in. I, got, I gotta keep thinking. What was that again? I'm sorry. Urban uh, urban legends. Favorite urban legends. Okay, actually... Uh, uh, I go. I go on this one. Um, actually, I'll all, all over it. Mm. Uh, hey, Barry, take it easy. <laughs> I actually really like the one where I, I know they made a movie out of this. Um, I really like the one where about the film Urban Legends. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Urban no well, ah, well, are you sure you're not talking about um, the dictionary? No, it, it was one where you. The, the 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 person's actually in your house. They oh, call that you classic, from yeah. inside the house. Yeah, that's like, the classic. That's the classic one. Like I, I kind of, I just really like it. Like that's in in this scary story treachery. Yeah, I have here. yeah. It's, it's a, cl- it's a classic. It's yeah. a classic. Yeah, I mean, it was one. Of, it's the classic look. It's still like, freaky. Yeah, if you're yeah, because you're thinking like this person. This is but this is possible. Where can he be? Where anywhere? Yeah, you that's know? Like, terrifying because it's something that could happen. Yeah, that's, like and that so, could actually really happen. Like that's. Babies, that babies, that movie where the babysitter's babies, babysitting these yes. kids and she's yeah, getting that's a that. call in the house. Yeah, that's the Turns like, out the call's coming from the attic or from the yeah. upstairs the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, police says, the police says, we've tracked that call. It's coming from inside the house. Get out! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It, it's, it, it really it, is. And it's possible. That's the reason why it's creepy. But I mean, I guess if you think about it, like it kind of, uh, you know, it spun a bunch of uh, slasher, slasher movies. Um, you know, yes. uh, Scream. Scream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Scream like, wasn't really that scary. No, Scream was actually a parody of actual horror movies. Yeah, Scream. Oh, okay. Wes Craven and Scream just explained you the rules of a horror movie, which you no one no, no one ever does. Like I the classic: the cage, if you're hot, you die. You die. If you do drugs, you die. Yeah. If you're yeah. black, you die. Sorry, Marcus. Right. If you. <laughs> so, uh, urban legend still going. Hmm? Okay. You got one? Uh, you gotta give me some time to think. All right, all right. I'll I'll, I'll do mine. Uh, okay, so there's this one that's always creeped me out. It's about this Japanese guy that uh, was going around his house, and he, he felt like maybe he was having, like, amnesia or something, because he, he would swear that, like, furniture would get moved ever so slightly, and food would get eaten that he didn't remember eating, and he oh, thought that yeah. he was having mad cow or something, mm-hmm. and uh, he set up a security camera in his house and he went to watch the footage and almost shit himself when he realized that there was a woman that just appeared start you know was like sitting in his furniture going around eating shit and he kind of fast forwarded it and then she goes and crawls into a cupboard and it's right fucking behind him oh man that's messed up and so he gets up and he leaves and he calls the authorities and they come in, they find her, and it was a crazed, like mentally imbalanced woman that had been living there for a full year. Yeah. Without him knowing. I can't sleep tonight now. I can't. <laughs> now, the best part about that I live story, alone, you realize you this. <laughs> uh, we're, we're picking favorite urban legends. Now, the best part about that story and mine is that it's, shit really mm-hmm. fucking happened. It's a yep. true story. Thank you very that much. It's true. Oh, I have one now, then. I can't sleep I, now. I was going to say, I, I have my absolute all-time favorite 
creepifying oh, story. The the one that oh, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it right now. Okay, I can't tell one. you. No, I can't tell you any details about it. You're gonna have to go and read it. Oh, yourself. good. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> it's called the Taman Shud. T a m a n. As one word, second word is S H U D. The Taman Shud case. It is one of the creepiest things you will read in your entire life. It's about an unsolved murder in Australia in the 60s. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> uh, 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 Sean, we go? Okay, I'll go. Um, um, classic urban legend. I think one I can remember reading that... Two, two real quick. One was like we were talking about the scary stories, the Hybe one. Because I, I actually yeah. have a fear of that because... You know, like, someone's going to follow me home. Because I live alone, guys. Okay, so it's one of those few things, like, it's not even that. It's that always protrudes out to, well, for those who don't know the story, it's this lady's driving in a car, and this car's falling behind her the whole time. And it's this beam, this high beam. He, every time she does something, this high beam just keeps hitting her, and then and it, it then turns off. But the car keeps following her. At first she thought it was just like, well, this is weird. And then she turns out this guy is following her all the way to her house. And she started to freak out like crazy. And then eventually how she drives to the driveway, he pulls up behind her in the driveway, she runs into the house, calls the police, locks the door, and calls the police. And the police comes and arrests the guy. And the guy goes, no, 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 don't arrest me. Arrest the guy who was about to stab her inside her car. Because the reason he has his high beam on is because every time she comes out behind her, he puts a high beam on so, he, so the guy thinks someone's, someone sees him, so he hides back in the trunk of the car again. I drive an SUV, okay? Yeah, okay. My trunk is wide open. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right? That can't freaks me. say that story. No, I can't call Kyle. I'm just Alan, I'm no, driving you back no. anyway, so at least you can it's check my car sad. for me later. So, <laughs> point being is that was the freaky part. You know, like, all right, but, you know, give me a couple months. I'll be fine. After. <laughs> <laughs> I always but, have a fear that somebody's going to follow me home. Do you know that, Sean? <clears throat> I always look behind me to make sure it's not Well, in that story, car. the person following him home was the... Hero. <laughs> well, yeah, but that, and then, like, I always, like, you know, I don't know why, but you well, know how in Adventureland they say you need to check your car and make sure there's no zombies in there or mm-hmm. anybody in Oh, there. zombie land, you mean? Or zombie land. <laughs> Adventureland was another Jesse Hansen bring up. That's a different one. Mm-hmm. But, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Every sometimes when I go into my car and I just always check the back seat just to right. make sure nobody's there. I think right. I do that, too. <laughs> right. Yeah, I do that, too. Yeah. yeah. Right well, no, no, because I, I do that ju- just in general because, like, you know, I, like, I for, too, like, for bums that hide in my car. It's it's just, I just, I do it because the sound of breathing behind me is really unsettling, so I just... Oh. What? <laughs> anyway. Someone breathe behind him right now. <sighs> no, okay, the uh, other yeah, the other okay. story I, I, I read about it one time, this actually I think is a true story, it's like in Mexico, and um, it's, this couple was on a honeymoon in Mexico, and uh, they get the hotel room, but the hotel room stinks like crazy, and they can't understand why. Mm-mm-mm. I'll get to that. Okay. I'll, I'll get to it. Alright. Mm-hmm. You were about to say mine. Okay, okay, you go mm-hmm. first then. Okay. Alright. So, um, I read about this story, it was on E-Bombs World or something, but it was like... Damn you, E-Bombs World. It was like a ten, <laughs> min, it was like a ten minute flash like say. movie about urban legends, right? Uh, do you guys remember the song Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? I remember yeah. this one. Yeah, okay. I remember this urban legend, song too. the song go for us Is it Roll That Coaster? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wow. So, um... <laughs> In the song, you hear a very faint scream of a woman, like, scream. Not just, like, any scream, but, like, a blood-curdling okay. scream. Okay, right? Well, to so, uh, I'm going to read this uh, article on Snopes. But, um, first of all, the cover of the album is It's a of... different album. Is it? Yeah, the, the okay. honey one. Yeah, there's a picture of a woman dripping honey on herself, right? Okay, all right, mm-hmm. okay. That's, it's the cover of a different album, but... Okay. Uh... Keep going. Okay, but yeah. co- I'll just read it. The cover of the album, Honey by the Ohio Players, depicts a nude model kneeling atop what appears to be a sheet of glass, dripping honey all over herself from a ladle suspended above her head. The original, uh, let's, let's see. The original, what, I don't know what UL stands for, but was that the glass, oh, Urban Legend. The original Urban Legend was that the glass was actually fiberglass or some other synthetic, which reacted chemically with the honey, bonding her skin like super glue to the fiberglass, freeing her freeing her ripped the skin off her legs and her career as a model was ruined so she just happened to burst into the recording studio while the Ohio players are recording roller coaster and starts threatening to sue the band for everything they're worth oh. the band's manager stabs her to death right there in the control booth and that's the scream you hear in the song right so now every not, time I hear that song I'm not sure that's real but. it's not real but it's just like an urban legend and every time I hear that song now I don't pay attention to anything in the song but the except for that scream and I hear that song... Okay, weird, I, like, I'll, I'll try on the classics radio. If that's all that pops up, I'll listen for it. Um, so my favorite urban legend... 
Uh, Josh was about to bring it up. Is it the mattress uh, one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's messed up. This story has been... I've heard a couple versions of this story. Right. And I found out the reason I've heard a couple versions of this story. But it's essentially, like, someone or a couple goes to a hotel. They... they there's a bad smell. They complain about the smell. They find a dead body in the box spring. Mm. Or under the bed. Or, or inside the mattress. Or inside That's the even mattress. worse, in the mattress. Yeah, yeah. So, the reason I've heard so many different versions of that urban legend, because it's true, and it happens all the fucking time. Like the cartel and whatnot, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, this is not an isolated incident. No. This shit, there. Next time you go to a hotel, check for a dead body. Rule, here's the rule, guys. Don't go to Mexico. <laughs> no, it's not just in Mexico. I, I've got. I'll go to New Mexico. The, the, just Snopes, it's fresher. the Snopes article where they confirm <laughs> this has like 16 confirmed real stories about this shit happening, and it's from all over. So, in, including one from. Oh yeah, let me pull that up for you. <laughs> you around here, please. Okay, guys. Better not be the sheriff of hotel in the Oak Canal Center because I'm gonna be really ticked off. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was in that movie. Uh, it was in that movie. Uh, shit. What's yeah, that that's the name called? of the movie. It's always, <laughs> a dead, it's always a dead girl's body, too, isn't it? Yeah, good, like prostitutes and shit. Yeah, yeah, that kind um, of stuff. Sorry. What movie was it? <laughs> I mean, it was a. I don't think it was like a, a very, very you know, popular movie, but like. <sighs> on July 10th, 2003, a man checked into the. It, checked into which hotel? Capri Motel, just east of downtown Kansas City. And Al Capri? Began complaining about a foul odor in his room. Management told him nothing could be done about the problem, and he spent three nights in his room before checking out because he could not lo no longer stand the smell. When the cleaning staff came in to make up the room on thir July 13th, they lifted the mattress underneath and found a man's body in an advanced stage of decomposition. Shit. Downtown, just east of downtown Kansas City, so this where Hotel? I yes. fucking work. Um, <laughs> Yay! People are finding dead bodies in hotel rooms. Um... Okay. Tennessee, uh, Maryland, yeah, just yeah, everywhere. Okay, all right. I'm gonna tell yeah. a story. Just a, this is a real story. Just to check lighten, your hotel room. Just rooms. to lighten the mood a little bit here. Okay, so th this is for me. It's kind of funny. Good, we're talking about we checking our cars and for for people and all this stuff. Please no, does it? Okay, this is just really really funny. Sorry, Be again. So what happened was. Um, I was out with my friends, no names here, but I was out with my friends, and I left early. We were all over on the plaza, we went to Old Dallas, and I was tired, it was Friday night, so mm -hmm. I went back home, and they decided to go to Westport to chill out, okay? They parked their car, I don't know, I think it's somewhere near one of the, like, you know, supermarket places, mm -hmm. and this is a girl's car. The girls got pissed, because on the way back, on the way, on the way, on the way back, there's a bunch of guys, a group of people, so it's not like one person. There's, there was this random, I think it was a hipster guy, sleeping in, his, in the passenger seat of the car, because he forgot to lock the door. So he was just sleeping in the passenger seat of the car with his seatbelt buckled. <laughs> <He's> going, <laughs> like this. What, what kind of car was it? It was like a, it was like a, I think it was like a Honda Civic or something like that. Okay. So, so it's, like right. a, it's a nice decent car. It wasn't like a beat up car, but it, it's like was so. he homeless? And it's like they literally knocked him, locked the door, opened the door, and he just picked him up like a baby. And he goes up, and then he was just while they got back in, he was just going on to other cars trying to open it. I think he just wanted to go to sleep. And my friend, she was so angry because <laughs> like, I, I think the next day she was texting wow. everybody how she went to the car wash to scrub down right. that side of the seat so, just lock your doors. so that's it for our topics which means we get to move on to the trivia I've written the trivia and I, you know I thought of something why is it scary there needs to be <laughs> there needs that. to be a prize for the winner I don't want on that top book. of being punishments for the mm -hmm. losers yeah yeah um, I'm not going so I think so, your, huh? the trivia is for Demarcus, Sean, and Brad. Okay. Huh? Crap. What? Shit. Oh, my God. So, D, Sean, and Brad, uh, the winner gets to pick the punishment for the two others. Oh, I'm so glad you, I'm out of the firing line for this one. Oh, fuck you, Brad. <laughs> you are each going to get three questions. Uh, I have a tiebreaker question as well, in case. So, we're starting with Sean, because he's first. Yeah. Fuck. Poop. Name two Slender Man YouTube series. <sighs> Marble Hornets is one. We got one. I can't think of any other series right now. Um, psh, that's the only one I got. <laughs> that's the only one I've got. Okay. Clay Pigeons. 
there is no clay pigeons. <laughs> clay pigeons is the parody of Marble Hornets that I made. Um, Shoot. T- you never specify. <laughs> like, it, wasn't you know, a, it wasn't a series. It was you didn't say one, official or unofficial. It wasn't a series. It was okay. one episode. Oh, okay. uh, DeMarcus. Fuck. What town in Pokemon Red and Blue was the center of a popular creepy pasta? Fuck. Okay, I'm going to stress to you. I did not write these in any particular order. <laughs> Fuck. Can he pass? <laughs> I like how you give me questions pass? to me. Well, he's giving him hard ones too, so. That's... It's hard for me. Yeah, it's hard for him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in this game right now. Here's a hint. I said it earlier. I know. <laughs> but I, I can't think of what, it, what you said earlier. You said a lot. We all said a lot. I'm gonna stay my night out. Wait. Oh, go fuck. Home. Turn. Shot. I'm gonna go, Don't I'm gonna go help. home. Turn on some coffee. Stand up. I must have been my mom. Three. I got two. Yeah. One. Johto. Lavender Town. Lavender Town. Oh, Lavender Town. Lavender Town. oh God damn. Oh, yeah, you did mention it earlier. <laughs> so, no points on the board so far. Fuck a Lavender Town. Brad. Yes. Who is the who is the Name the there? protagonist of any of the Silent Hill games. <laughs> the game or the, or the movie? I have neither played the games, any of them, nor seen any of the movies. God damn I want to say Jill, but I'm pretty sure that's Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jill Valentine right. is in fact Resident Evil. <laughs> then I don't know. Just pick a random I girl's name. Harry Mason, James Sunderland. None of those names mean anything to me. <laughs> Drake's right. Fortune. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't think right. chart accounts on this either. That's an action of interest. Sean. Yeah, no points. All right. <laughs> Which of these aren't really a creature in the Cthulhu mythos? Oh, jeez. God damn it. Fuck. See? <laughs> Pastor the King in, in yellow, Gorilla Ayahotep, Dagon, or Shubnagorath? Let's just guess one. <laughs> what, was, what was the third one? Fuck. Dagon. Pass. Pass. I'm going to guess that one. That's wrong. Wrong. It is Gorilla Ayahotep. Which, I'm sorry you keep getting questions like this, but that is the uh, Elder God nickname of Slenderman in the YouTube series. <laughs> I know nothing of Slenderman. God well, damn it. So many Slenderman. Oh, this is brutal. I know we're all... DeMarcus. DeMarcus. <laughs> what Pokemon is in Lavender Town? That's a ghost. <laughs> if that's no. the question, I would no. be so pissed. Okay. <laughs> Richard Bachman is an alias of what horror writer? Oh, fuck. Guess a horror writer. Yeah, I'll just guess one. There's, there, you know, there's one I can even think of. Really? Uh, can I get guess after you just done? Fucking, no, um, you're not a part of the game. Well, if he's just a wrong. Let, let's all guess because I, I don't know the answer okay. to this. Yeah, I, I, I gotta guess. Uh, I gotta guess. Too. What's his name? Oh, fucking. <laughs> what does this mean? What is this claw? What is this claw? You're the... claw is this the, is this the Bong Air character? <laughs> <laughs> Diddle it. <laughs> Got a finger bang bang you into my leg. If you can't um, do it right now, we're all making that's that's trade gestures. more money. <laughs> because you can't see audience. Uh, we started off with vague finger gestures, <laughs> and now we're just doing outright terrifying, like sexual innuendo, sexual innuendo finger gestures. If you okay. if you heard what sounded like a fart, it was my impression of the Sibian. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh, right, sorry. Right, sorry. Oh shit! What's his name? Uh, Richard Bachman is an alias of what horror writer? Fucking bitch. Three. Ass. No, not bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> just say a horror writer right now. Three. Who wrote the two. Two, who wrote the tower books? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking of. Keep going. I'm gonna stop the tower. Timer. Tower. I'm books. gonna stop the timer. I know. I know exactly. I know exactly what he's going for. Who wrote the tower books? That's what I'm fucking trying to. We all know this guy. Come on. He wrote many books. Fucking <laughs> what? Stephen. Uh. Last name. <laughs> oh my God, Demarcus. <laughs> <laughs> for the love of God, we're gonna kill him if he doesn't get this. Oh. But no, don't help him out. Merciful That's not, Christ. His last name is last name isn't Brad. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't help Three, him. two, one. Stephen King. King. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was my first guess. That was, that's the only horror writer everyone Stephen knows. King, Clive Barker, or American McGee. Those are my only three oh. guesses <laughs> in that order. Like, this is Brad. Brad. <laughs> yes. Did you get a point Brad? for that? Like, no. no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> you can't guess Stephen King. That's a no one. 
I could have won this Brad, game. Brad. Yes. <laughs> this mascot of horror punk band The Misfits was the main villain of a 50s horror serial. This is a horror serial? Horror! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. Horror serial. <laughs> a horror serial. Uh. <laughs> Titty boots. <laughs> <laughs> Titty boots. Part of a balanced breakfast. Uh, the the Phantom. What? No. I knew that was wrong as soon as it came out of my mouth. It's I can see the skull in 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 my in my head. Mascot of horror punk band The Misfits. Yeah. Main villain of a fifties horror serial. Fifties horror serial. Wow. <laughs> you were saying serial, yes? Like, as in, like, a serialized... S-E-R. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I was thinking of breakfast cereal. Oh, me too. I was thinking of breakfast cereal, too. You gotta be more specific with these homonyms. <laughs> Guys, I think we can make titty bits work. <laughs> like, you give up? It's Pat and Three, Yeah, yeah. Two, Go ahead. one, it is the Crimson Ghost. God. Ah! God damn it. Okay, <laughs> so you each have one more question. <laughs> and you could have won this by now, Demarcus. Okay, okay, you could have won, Demarcus. You know why we all just pointed, uh, said, ah. Uh, Shut uh, It's okay. <laughs> Don't d- describe that level Let's of try. nerdery in my life. That's true. Okay. Sean. Slenderman. <laughs> which of these men never played Frankenstein's monster? Bella Lugosi, Robert De Niro, William Henry Pratt. Mm. I don't want Shit. I don't want that did. I don't know what the hell I'm pretty sure it was Lugosi, right? Because it was what's his that face? Is Boris co- Karloff. That is correct. Yes. Yeah, you're <laughs> uh, ding, 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 Actually, yes. that was sort of a trick question because William Henry Pratt is Boris Karloff's real name. Oh, okay. And De Niro is. Oh, and De Niro did play Frank. I do. Yeah. He did because I remember because yeah. yeah. in like tenth grade they showed us a video clip of it. Last round, we finally have a goddamn point on the board. <laughs> Demarcus, like I said, you could have got a point earlier. I couldn't think of his last name. Can't think of Stephen King, the most popular writer. Meryl Wack. The answer is Meryl Wack. Demarcus, <laughs> this film, originally titled "I Scream Man," was directed by a man whose only previous credits were porn in a Britney Spears music video, <laughs> and stars someone we probably mentioned in another episode. Oh, I can't help you with that. Fuck. One. Am I, are you looking for a movie? Jesus yeah. Christ. That question is mean. <laughs> you're gonna, you're actually gonna kick yourself when you, you two are gonna kick yourself when you hear the actual answer. If if you don't. In another it. episode, we mentioned it. I'll give you a bigger hint. It's the pre, uh, our previous episode. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no! No uh, wrestling. How often do you guys have these uh, episodes? See no. That is correct. <laughs> Wait, I, did the mic pick it up? The mic no evil, <laughs> starring Glenn Kane Jacobs. <laughs> oh my gosh, serious? Oh, yeah, it was him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but two yeah. points. On he did. The, the guy, the director, used to do porn in Britney Spears. And you know, I I think Brad's gonna get this next one, so we're gonna have a three-way tie. You have a sudden death round. <laughs> this horror legend and Edgar Allan Poe enthusiast had a cameo in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein as the voice of the Invisible Man. You give me too much credit, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this horror legend and Edgar Allan Poe enthusiast... Vincent Price. Yes. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to guess Vincent Price myself. <laughs> so three-way tie. Shit. Very last round. Right? This is the first time this has ever happened. Mm, like a cedar of Vincent Price's house. For this next question, you cannot say anything until I finish the question. But is, is it the first one who gets it? The first person who gets it. Okay, fuck sure me, as I can judge who gets it first. Fuck me, fuck me. Name the film that popularized the idea that zombies eat brains. If no one answers... Dawn of the Dead. No. Not of the Living Dead. I was thinking of that. No. <laughs> it eats brains. Huh? Okay, I'll take a guess if you done. This is the first film that actually featured zombies speaking the words brains. The word brains. You said Dawn, you said Night of the Do we get more than one guess? Uh, is this a rapid I'm fire? Say no. Okay, <laughs> not for, only, only until he answers, you mean. So. 
I'm gonna look up a new fucking question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can I guess after he's done? Oh shit. Um, how about we say movie? That talks about yes, it okay. is. It is a film. The original. No, never mind. That's not a thing. Um, so I'm gonna say I don't know. <laughs> The film is known as Return of the Living Dead. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh. That wasn't even my second guess. I was going to say for love of the game. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Shaun of the Dead, because I, I figured most zombie movies never mention brains ever. You no, know? yeah, well, there is some, the there's somewhere. The yeah. Well, that's what I was I meant when I well, said Well, the that. original uh, right. when Romero was Night of the Living Dead, though. That's the very first one. Let's do a related question, then. First person to answer. This is just off the top of my head. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so the answer may not be true. It's not going to be obscure at all. <laughs> <laughs> what is the common trope of George Romero's Night of the Living Dead films? He has a common trope he features in every film. And it's not just zombies, you fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that was my answer to one. Does he make zombies. a cameo? No. Oh. Um, the... They reference it. In Shaun of the Dead, by including a scene of it. It's been a long time since I saw that movie. Uh, oh, you, you spoke too soon. <laughs> Hero dies first. No. The girl. No. Gets. <laughs> <laughs> is it that they show a clip from like his? No. It is a scene of zombies fighting over intestines. Uh, oh. Interesting. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna get put an easy one for some We're at two minutes and eighteen. Two, two minutes, about two hours and eighteen minutes. <laughs> that was a long goddamn two minutes. <laughs> as long as two minutes of my life. Blah. Shit. Just, just, just pull one. Like right. I can ask. I'm gonna say one that's fucking easy. In the, in the horror first. film, The Land Before Time. <laughs> All right, sharp tooth. It's sharp tooth, you guys. <laughs> Name. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Say something cool. All right, motherfuckers. <laughs> if you can name. The two horror films quoted by Duke Nukem in the Duke Nukem 3D video game, then you win this fucking contest. So, I don't play that game. <laughs> Has anyone here played Duke Nukem no, 3D? No. Oh. Nope, no, not a one of us. <laughs> not a goddamn one of us. Apparently, we have lives. I need nerdier friends. <laughs> we have lives, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're, work is important to nerd. I would have accepted Army of Darkness, okay, okay. I, Evil Dead 2, can I, They Live. Can I ask God a, fucking damn it. Can I can I ask a question? Can I present a question sure. basically then? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will make this friendship work. <laughs> I, I got a pretty good question, I think. Go I, 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 I got okay. okay. Who wrote the scary stories to make you scared in the dark book? <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, Schwartz. Oh, Alvin Schwartz. Sean wins. <laughs> he said the full name. Yay! What? <laughs> hey, we back in Scholastic oh, when you say who was who's the one who's the person going after Moby Dick? It's not Ahab. It's got to be Captain Ahab. So oh, he has to put the phone yeah. in there. So he wins. <laughs> Take your goddamn punishment for Demarcus and Brad. I hope you feel really fucking happy about this victory too. Oh, hope you're fucking pleased as punch with yourself. <laughs> punch pleasing. Punch pleasing. I have to fucking educate you people. Jesus. I actually I wouldn't even actually know the answer to that question. To be honest. I don't play video games. I mean, how do you? I mean, what is this, amateur hour? <laughs> no. Well, Sean doesn't watch horror movies. No, it's 143. I just felt like saying, what is this amateur hour, okay? <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. It's fun to say. Mm-hmm. What is this amateur hour? I can't think of one, actually. The one, oh the one that came on top of my head was, I want the both of you to watch, like, an unknown screamer video on full blast, but... With headphones on. I don't want to hear it either. I don't want to hear it. Okay. So we'll give him the headphones later. <laughs> totally need to hear it. <laughs> I'm full blast. <laughs> that might mean I have to stop recording, though. We could do that at the end. <laughs> Dude. I, the whole point of the punishment is that it's recording. Yeah. What? What am I? No, I'm I'm gonna, I'm, well, we know... We, the, the my punishment that, is listening to well, our recording. Well, that headphone's for just testing the mic, right? To make sure it works. So. Yeah, it's, so plugged, it's plugged into the mic. Yeah, so you're so. fine. You're fine, so... So the mic's working. It's, it's recording, so you just have to plug it to a phone. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna. Watch it. Watch oh wait, we have to see this. I'm gonna go play. No, you don't know Jack. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Brad, you got an ant on you. Ew. You got it. Kind of. Yeah, it's Apple. Yeah, sure. Oh great, it's a bright screen. That's lovely. You work tomorrow? I do, but I don't get until nine. Yeah, so. I do. All right. Don't worry okay. about looking at the screen. Please tell me that thing is muted. <laughs> I mean, like, He's like got the headphones for on. us, the muted for us. Like, he didn't he did, like forgot. Are the, are the headphones oh. plugged in? Can you hear it? Yes. I don't hear shit. Okay, it's because it's not on yet. How many seconds is this? Uh, oh, I, I gotta stop the recording to change the audio thing. So. Then figure go something else no, take, out. No, take the, take the headphones out. Put them figure out another uh, uh, punishment. <clears throat> take this. No, take the headphones. No. Out. Oh yeah, no, no. I could just put it back in here. Yeah. Yeah. Put it into a phone. Oh. I think yeah. So. Uh, what's happening? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go check on my phone. I'm right back. Yeah, do, <laughs> do I? Do I gotta like? <laughs> right. Do I gotta? I'm gonna go check on my phone. You <laughs> massive pussy. Do I gotta? Do I look? Oh, that guy's about to do I look swing a golf club. No, do I, no, don't watch it yet, Demarcus. Okay, because I gotta, yeah, I gotta. Got I got it. Here we go. He's setting up the putt. And in the sound trap. Sounds like he just. <laughs> oh my God! It is an energy drink. <laughs> On the other side of the room. Oh, that was. All right, what's the market? That was, you know what? There's that actually, one. that was that was the, good. The, the, the jump scream bullshit. But uh, that was not as scary as the ones I was used to because I think the decaying lady is far more freaky than whatever that was. That looked like Bat Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. me, Bat here, Boy. Here, Demarcus. All right. Why don't you give him yeah. the, the one that Brad's talking about? <coughs> Alright. Did you give him the same one? Oh, fuck. No! Uh, what number can you see? Select a. I can freaking hear it. I can do the front score for the movie. What uh, one number can you see? Select a. Oh, no, 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 no. What number can you see? Two, you give me. Oh, it's the inverse one. Uh, oh, you just took that off. Oh, I thought you were talking to Demarcus' answer. I mean, you know, you gotta do it right. It's 21, number one, yeah. 24. Still going. Can't see shit. Is it playing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. How long is it? Uh, I didn't see 60. Dude, I didn't hear it from here. Oh, oh my god! god. I, saw it. <laughs> I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! It gave me. What the hell? I think that's from the Jaina. Is that from JJ? You guys, it's an optical illusion. It's a room. No, I. Which one did he give you? The scream happened first before the. Uh, before the face uh, popped up, so oh, like, it's like a small delay, but so like I, I, I think it's if it like, would have had me at the same, like the screen got me a little bit, right. but like if the face would have came at, at the same time. <laughs> Which one did he give you? Was uh, it, it was like the thing, yeah, oh, okay. and then yeah. it was the. Girl oh, the one you keep the looking at, you keep looking at the screen for a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so okay, I, okay, pull up the ghost uh, comic. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost yeah, 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 yeah. The what? The, oh, the, the, the long chong dong yeah. bong. What are, okay. <laughs> long chong oh, dong. Long. We've arrived at the end. It's two hours and 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to post us quietly while reading a comic. Um, <laughs> anyway, this has been Coffee and Pie. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, for the episode where I was the only one who knew anything. Brad did his research too, props to him. Thank you. Um, I'm just filling in for Tyler at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Give me sorry. a topic I can do next. I'll sorry, like Tyler couldn't make it. Uh, we do have to pick next week's topic. Uh, what did we talk about? What did we subtly <laughs> Pokemon for Marcus? Pokemon, Disney movies. Uh, we we, we oh. did not say a goddamn thing about Disney movies, Sean. <laughs> Okay. Actually, uh, actually, that's a good no, idea. No, 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 no. I remember. I remember. I'm in mean, whatever. Uh, next. next episode is going to be a surprise. Oh, yeah. 
So I like surprises. Tune in for the surprise episode next week. Okay, I'll show next up. Next week. But no, recently, whenever whenever we do it. <laughs> whenever this is posted. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us on Coffee and Pie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I actually jumped on that shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Coffee and Pie. Please don't do that. We got neighbors. Sorry.